Hello, hello, my Jack one two one two. Do legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? It's the boy me to legit city, and we're live. And today we're back into the oxygen not included. What's going on, people of Chan? I see you over there, Lyndon Susumu. Hope you guys are doing well. Mama's behind the pillow, so you know what? We're gonna adjust the cameras right now. So give me one second. How you guys though? Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope the uh, Monday is doing well. Start of the week, y'all know what it is. Hey everyone, you legit enjoying the Beator Mamba while I'm playing the map myself? Oh dude! Uh, did you just start? How's that going then? I, I've, I've always wanted to ask people who tried that map how their experience is. So, uh, Shigorath. Welcome on in, and hope you're having fun, man. The Baytor uh, mod is a uh, great map to play on. There we go, got the Mamba in. Alright, I messed up, I messed up. I, I gotta swap it over. better setup. I want to say this is a better setup. <laughs> Our mob is now getting comfy. Let me fix the cam, you guys. Excessive cam stuff just to get mob in the corner. Let's go. Let's go Psycho 26 that pollute or water explode in your water tank being very cautious of the gas pockets. Ooh, okay. That's smarter. Oh Man have fun with it, man. It is uh, it's a lot of uh, stuff like that Where you're gonna have to uh, be a little bit extra cautious. I don't know. I like doing that though. Because it, when you see some of the gas pockets or water pockets, you immediately go, I'm happy, I'm playing cautious. <laughs> it's like the, the one time where it's like playing cautious is like, it's actually really good for you. Beautiful kitty to your own. Awesome, awesome. Kitty cats are the best. Doing good for a Monday. Had to fix movement of the orca head on your uh, Minecraft mod. Making sure part of your project works, which means you have to write scripts in addition to navigating scenes, including having to have a rudimentary player. Oh, wow. Sounds like a lot of work, man, at Linden. That's tough. Beethoven's great. Ended up having uh, shovels come into your base on their own right when you're ready to ranch them. Ooh, that sounds horrible, man. That sounds horrible, Susumu. And we got to go back, boys, all the way to the beginning. 
Here it is, Radio Mamba. Man, it's been a while since we touched this save. But we're back, and this is the max difficulty run. This is where we're on the radioactive ocean on max difficulty, and we're trying to get to the tear, build a great monument, and do a lot of that. But of course, we got to the ice planet already. We're going to try to get steel, and then going to try to do some space exploration. Probably try to take it to the great monument. Did you finish the Gassy Moose speed run? I have not. I have not uh, finished that yet, but we're going to go back to that. Let's mop this up. All the plants are growing. Calories are looking fine. Two people on this side still chilling. I don't know what they're doing here still, but you know what? We're going to let them do what they got to do. Oh, this has changed now. So we have suits, though, so this is fine. Alright, that's two people, and that's 19. That's everyone, then. Okay, so everyone's on here. Okay, cool. So the one thing I do kind of want to do is not have these guys accidentally bring the stuff out. I don't want to vac- I, I don't want to have gas in here. Could do loss you over there. Hope you're doing well. One of my teammates is in charge of the scripts and the others in design. I'm uh, level one sound design. Oh, wow. I see you over there. Y'all got a studio over there, pretty much. Radiation. Probably shouldn't have to worry about that. Just some minor stuff, I think. A little bit of idleness, which is fine. Don't mind a little bit of that. All right, so there's some gas issues here I probably want to take care of. The water's warming up, not making steam yet. And I think we're chilling. We are chilling. I might want to get an auto sweeper here. It's one thing I'm thinking about. Food has decay. That's on this side. It's fine. All right. So for these guys, we're going to continue sweeping. Sandstone dirt. Spraying back the sandstone. Let's bring back the sand. Alright, so when they're bored, they could do that. It's gonna take some time. We wanna take the resources from here. It's a cold map. We wanna bring back the sulfur and all that as well. We're gonna delete the water so that we don't deal with it. Outside of that, it's doing alright. We were composting here. So the pea dirt in here is uh, getting bopped, or at least trying to. And the cold temperature should also uh, bop the food poisoning, funny enough. So we're going to do some composting right here, easy stuff. Dude, what the heck? Coming in with the raid already. Shout out to you, Aresia. Thank you so much for the raid. And of course, how was the stream? That's you over there. Playing some oxygen not included. What's going on, Aresia? How are you doing today? And how's the Mondays? What's good, man? Appreciate the raid, Charmitch. Welcome on in. I see you over there as well. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you guys? Spreading the Oni love. Appreciate that. Oni's a great game. It deserves the love that it, uh... It deserves all the love in the world. Howdy, howdy. How you doing, Aresia? Talk to us about the Oni run. How was the colonies? What were you guys doing today? What's going on? Uh, oh yeah, I don't have a face cam on. I can pick my nose and stuff. Nice. What's going on, Phage? Phage Lambda, how are you? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. We made a spawn. And I've got like a million things to do. We're doing all mouth breathers. Hey, that's fun. Making everyone a mouth breather. <laughs> oh, hey, legit. Ray brought me in. This is perfect. What's going on, damsel? How are you? It's good to see you. Hope you guys are doing well. And of course, happy Monday. So hope the week is going. You know, it's a Monday. Maybe it's 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 maybe just okay. <laughs> but hope you guys are doing well, man. 
if you guys didn't know there's an update we did a update video that goes over the quality of life update and the big thing is we get the recycle blueprints dude i need to get some beds these beds are expensive though that's all i gotta say where have you been i hope everything's okay what's going on Salen? uh after the subathon i took two days off right to kind of just take two days off and then on the third day i was like, i gotta get started with the uh you know the subathon editing of the vods and then the oni update came out update came out i was like okay i gotta take another couple days off because i need to make the video i made the video and then i realized that it's like i'm running into so many problems i would make some of the i would do some of the subathon videos and then after uploading it i i realized i was getting dmca because some of the music and i was like ah oh, shit so i was like uh having to kind of juggle that so you know i just had to uh cut out some of the parts and then it's it kind of sucks because i only have one computer so just doing a lot of that trying to make sure i catch up with the youtube because during the subathon i completely neglected the youtube like i didn't really release anything i wasn't able to upload i wasn't editing at all during that time so i had to catch up with the youtubes needed some time for that and now we're back i'm okay how's the colony this is we're actually finding i haven't played this colony in like two weeks and this is the colony we were playing before the subathon and for the most part uh this is our max difficulty radioactive ocean i want to say we're okay stress is high but that's because we're on max difficulty like the dupes touching a little bit of water without wearing a suit causes them to get stress to like 70 percent. so it's kind of tough outside of that though i think they're doing all right i might want to get rid of some of the co2 here though that's about it the only thing is that the gas flow here is kind of slow try to remember what's going on yep hiatus is hiatus seuss what's going on i see you over there how are you welcome on in hello hello okay so there's some gas here outside of that i do want my dupes to not be idle we got pinch of pepper plants because we were trying to grow some for the plant pulverizer which we're gonna do that's gonna be one of the ways we're gonna get the new resource bracking and then if we go back to the ice planet we have our iron volcano tamer a little bit of iron here there is steam but it's at not a hot enough temperature oh i need to turn this on so that i could cycle the iron oh that's interesting okay so this is ready the only thing is that there's no water for the aqua tuner but then that's because you know it's it's actually kind of cold still so they're actually all right there should be gas in here and there is max max stress looks rough a little step in a puddle irl will make anyone explode yeah man you get that soggy feet dude it's kind of gross wait a second so the only thing with this is that iron isn't selected here okay so if i select this this gets picked up and then we run the iron on the loop and then the temperature spreads out a lot faster as you can see my turbine's turning on now nice so this is going to cause a little bit of the system to kind of run into a loop which is not bad so we have about 40 50 kilograms per tile of steam that's actually kind of kind of nice all right so this is going to loop for a while until the temperature of the iron is low enough Oh, is it actually leaving? It is at 300 degrees. This ain't right, man. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This ain't right. Dude, this is not right, dude. Just saying. 
Alright, it has to be below 130. <laughs> oh shit. That was not smart. Oh, it's hot outside now, boys. It is gonna be hot outside. Almost a ton. I were hoping that the map's cold enough. No, it's it's not supposed to be a rail sensor. Hmm, maybe the ideal thermal sensor wasn't going to work out well enough. I need to work on the automation a little bit better. So the thing with this is that I wanted to make it jam. And then only when it's the steam has reached an optimal temperature do we actually do something with it. But it looks like that's not a good enough of a play. I might want to do a timer design. Or we do like an element sensor on a certain spot. But the problem with this is that I don't think I'll be able to do it then. I need to watch this. I need to see how this works. I prefer the long looping rail instead of uh, back up with the rail sensor. The long looping rail, technically the reason why I didn't want to build it was because it was more building. Like you have to build extra rail to loop it back and stuff. So I wanted to just make it so that we had less work in this area. That's really it. I wanted to minimize the amount of jobs, but that's it. All right, there it is. All right, so the temperature of the steam on this set immediately skyrockets. Okay. And then we run the iron. Okay. All right, temperature is hot. And then we allow everything on the rail. Right, so everything is on the rail chilling. Temperature's at 160. The iron is on the rail. 20 kilogram packets. That's actually the reasoning why we wanted to do this. Because it's 20 kilogram packets on the rail, the cooling of the individual metal is a little bit faster here. And we have water here now. It's not bad. Oh, the turbines are hot though. Oh no, bro. The turbines are mad hot. Alright, so that's kind of where it gets bad. Because this is where we need to start having the Aqua Tuner turn on. And what we would need to do is start releasing some steam. So while this is nice, I realistically need to come back <laughs> and do a little bit of work on the turbine. So we need to do that immediately. We need to fly back. Uh, it's going to be this engine. This has, don't we have the steam? It's just whether the interior is set up, and it is. It's kind of warm, which is not bad. This is a telescope setup. Maybe we're using this one? Yeah, this is the dock setup. Uh, oh, did we blow up the rocket to come back home again? Hmm, okay. What's the gas pump in there for? To pump the gas. Ace Cal is right. So we're using a steam engine, right? And actually that was our way to go home. So in order for us to go home, we have to make steam, which is the reasoning why I wanted to build this design. The steam is actually our rocket fuel. And because we have a lot of water everywhere inside, ice, right? We could actually add water via conveyor loader because there's a lot of ice just on the map naturally. And then we just drop it in via this chute right here. We have a separate rail for that. And when the ice comes in, it should melt into water because we're going to, we're going to be pulling steam out, right? Steam gas. And that's going to be the pipeline here that goes into our rocket. So because the amount of space we had to travel, this is our starter planet. One, two, three, four, five. I barely reach with a CO2 rocket that has a distance of six tiles. The problem is there's no CO2 on this map 
funny thing is that the CO2 actually liquefies because it's so cold. So using a CO2 rocket on this map kind of sucks because it's uh, you got to get this in gas form and then pump it out, right? So it was kind of tough, even though there's a lot of CO2 now, it's probably because of my coal chunks. I was like, yeah, I don't want to wait for that. So let's build a steam engine instead. So that's what we have. Now, the thing is, is that I didn't want to wait. So my rocket flew to here and we had to blow it up so that we could crash land back on the planet. <laughs> so we have to rebuild this actually. All right, so this needs power. This is simple. These don't need anything. This is going to be 10 kilograms of rat pills. This is going to be, well, what kind of food do we have? Pickled meal. Back to the pickled meals. Let's go. Do some pickled meal here. So we have to remember that we eat double the calories. So it's 2000 per dupe. So if I send two dupes and I need, I need, I needed like, oh, I need a good amount of food for that. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, man. Uh, how hot is this inside? 150 degrees. This is active. So every two cycles, I'll get third. Well, every cycle and a half. Well, a, a little bit over a cycle, we'll get about 30 seconds of iron. So that's bad. Uh, that's bad. The only thing that could kind of help us right now is if this door was automated, so that could open the door because it's not enough CO2 in here. Outside of that, this is going to auto shut off. I just have to hope nothing breaks inside. Mm, and no one could die. No one's allowed to die. Okay, so... For the most part, we might lose a little bit of the design on the ice planet, but we need to go back. We could probably send one dupe over to do a little bit of the steam stuff. And then we could do that at the moment, I think. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's do 25 of pickled meal. Pickled meal has long shelf life. We're going to deliver this. This has O2 inside. It's not bad. And then we need to make sure we have suits. We have four extra suits, so that's not bad. I uh, will move that in. Bracken's going to be chill. And then we need to fly back to take care of the business. Uh, I probably just need a rocket pilot, right? So my rocket pilot with the highest skill, unfocused. Seven skill points. That's not bad. That's you, you, and you. No one else is selected. Nice. We're flying back here. My rocket has no fuel. Okay. So this connects. Nice. We need about 150. Oh, we have enough here. So this is just a little bit of juice. Uh, make sure nothing else is connected. Let's disconnect this. You're gonna charge the engine. Uh, gonna charge the oxygen in here now too. This is on the power line, so it's not bad. All right, and once that's ready, we'll launch. Take the algae. Don't want to take any more dupes yet. Uh, we're sending stuff back, which is not bad. All right, let's start crushing a little bit of the bad gas. Now, while this is nice, I want to pull a pump here so that this gas level drops a little bit better, or we'll do a separate gas uh, setup. Dupes can't sleep, dude. That's not good. Okay, so the meta refinery here, I don't know if we even use this anymore. Oh, this map's getting cold, yo. Greetings, what's going on, Varal? How are you? I see you over there. Hello, hello. You know, we're pulling from the negative 10. We should probably do something about it. Uh, let's see. For the sake of doing better pipes, we're going to want to do that. We're going to do better piping because I don't want the plants to get over chilled. Because the plants are at 
15 to 50. They're at 22. And we're coming in with negative 10 water running over the plants like directly. So I need to probably change those pipelines. We're going to do that right now. All good. How's things? We doing all right. Took a couple days off after the subathon. After that, I realized that I was really behind with everything on the YouTube side. So I had to catch up with that. After I caught up a little bit. Um, while I was doing that, I got uh, the Oni update came out. You guys see the update? The update's pretty pog, yo. The update is pretty nice. Unfocused has the Abe. The Kios has the other one. <laughs> yo, they got Sniped Geek. What's in the update? The update is big for a couple reasons. First thing is if you already know about the move to tool. So move to is basically you have an item on the ground. There's a new item, a new command called move tool. And you can move this item wherever you want and place it there. You can click on that and hit priority nine. And then a dupe will do it. The thing about this is that this was a old mechanic. Um, I say it old, but it's about six months old. It's not even that old. <laughs> it's like three to six months old. It's a relatively new mechanic, right? You will pick up the item and they'll drop them off there. And then it falls down. So that's a mechanic that was added in a little bit ago. They recently added in a better one where the, you could do with the critters. So you could wrangle them, right? But you could also move to them now. So I'm going to do that. Just hatch noises. Right? So we're going to move to this guy. What do you mean, unreachable move? That's got to be a lie, dude. Alright, we'll, we'll move to him right there. So what happens now is a, a dupe is going to walk up to this guy, wrangle him, right? And then pick him up and drop him off here. Previously, you needed to use the critter drop-off right there in order to automatically move critters. They made it so that you don't have to anymore. And it's kind of nice when you have problems where you have maximum critters. Something like that prevents you from wrangling something new to it due to the fact that it's already at its limit. Doing this method circumvents that so that, oh, look at him bag that. Ooh, from, from the top levels, dude. And he'll just drop ball off right there. That's a new mechanic that was added in. Pretty big. Second one is... If you've been playing the game... You've been getting something called blueprints. Which are skins for your buildings and dupes. So you have your dupe wear. Your building skins, which are pretty nice. Like some of your regular beds. Uh, some of your lights look a little bit better. Some of your comfy beds. Some of your flower pots, right? Get some reskins. Oh, look at the storage bin reskins. Not bad. So the, the change now is if you have a couple of duplicates, because this is completely random, sometimes you get the same thing. You could recycle it now on the bottom right. Let me turn off the cam. So on the bottom right right here, you can see there's a recycle button and a print button. So when you recycle something, you get basically you get some points from selling the item. And then with those points, I have 800 at the moment, you could buy some items with it. So if there's skins you want, like an Atmos suit skin, if there's wallpaper you want, which is pretty cool, you can actually buy those now and start decorating your base. So that's actually pretty big. Because a lot of skins are really cute. That's a weird bank of holding. Do they have the old liquid reservoir as a skin? So I don't have to use that as a mod. The old liquid reservoir? I don't think they would have that, but that would be great. I do not remember... Oh, they have gas and solid, but not liquid reservoir. Feels bad. Golden gas, party dot gas, mod dot gas, blue moon, green pea, and then the bins. Feels bad, yo. Didn't get the liquid storage. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the designs are cool, though. Not gonna lie. We gotta put Mamba back though. I'm sorry, you guys. Mamba lost a little bit of the screen time. 
can you set those buildings as wards that across the whole colony? It's it's individual. So when you place them, what you do is you would actually go into your blueprint. And let's say that I wanted to build the ceiling light. You click on the ceiling light and then you get to select the type of skin during the building process. So you take the normal one, you can mix and match and have every bed, every type. So you could actually customize it. You can actually have every type right next to each other. Kind of like the, the drywall. Drywall is nice because you could rotate the pieces to make a nice design, which is pretty cool. So why do you not sell the duplicate ones? I will. I just haven't um, did it yet. So I wanted to not sell anything because on the video, I wanted to do the first sell on the Oni video. <laughs> but yeah, I got to sell the duplicate ones. There's actually a tool for that too. You come into here. These are all my duplicates, things that I have at least two of. And then I can just go through this list and just, you know, bop everything. I have three of these balloons. I'm so mad. Nice. I have three of these as well, dude. F, dude. What are you gonna buy though? I need to save up, man. I want, I want these beds. These beds are nice. I'm just saying that they're just seven, seven thousand two hundred each. I need a small loan in order to buy those boys. But yeah, they're mad expensive. <laughs> they're they're nice. They're just mad expensive. Really nice though. Recycle a bed is 1.8. I know, man. I don't even have enough. Feels bad. Actually feels bad, man. Alright, did the pipes. Need to make sure everyone's cool. Uh, oh, this got over pumped. Feels bad. So we got to do this. Uh, steam actually condenses down and cools down back into water relatively quickly. So we have to do this. And we have to drain all the steam out. I hate to do this. If we don't do this, the pipes break. So we got to do that. Gonna get some hot water as a result. It is what it is. Uh, back inside the rocket. We're still charging the suit, so we gotta wait. We have food inside here. 99% fresh, 45,000 kcals. Let's ground this rocket. I actually don't know if that's a lot of food. 45,000, we send one guy. That's about what, 22 days worth of food? That should be enough. And given this rocket, it's, there's not, a lot on here so the drive shouldn't take that long we have a battery on here just to power the suits hey dude this is grounded how are you eating one of my rad pills this guy let me get back to my yeah, we're making more rad pills right we need to fight the radiation i only have 4k even after selling my duplicates dude man it's it's yeah Getting, getting the beds is tough times, dude. Real talk. Alright, crushing gas. Not bad. Doing some pipelines. Alright, so pickled meal. And we have food on this side, right? You have 100,000. Okay. I need to send all the pickled meal here, dude. Real talk. I'm scared that we might not have enough food. <laughs> Another thing is unfocused. The guy that we're sending to the other planet can't cook, but he could do everything else. Okay, cool. Sometimes he doesn't want to make sure. All right. So this suit dock is at, it's chilling. We basically need this to just fill up. And once we could do that, we could go. We could probably go now. We don't need to fill it up all the way. We just need to do a couple things on here. Yeah, the turbines are going to auto shut off because it's too hot. And then the bottom's not going to cool down anymore. So I'm hoping we have enough time to come back. Oh, another thing is that all oh, my lead. 
Dude. It's gonna melt my lead, dude. Not like this. It's actually not hot enough, but yo, it's gonna melt my lead. Alright, so I will need a bin in here. Just to make things a little- oh no, I have bins already. We're fine. And then we need bathroom water. Alright, we'll send that in right now. I think afterwards we'll go. So, we'll just send in a full 100 kilograms. Very nice. Alright, so, back into here. Is there any research we need? No. Uh, Brack Wax, Gleaner, Fountain, Milking Station. That's all good. I have the Rad Bull Rocket, so we can make a research reactor if we so want to. Oh, we're trying to do this research right now. So we do need to do uh, data banks. Wait a second. Sweep only. Oh, this isn't my data bank rocket. This is. There we go. Alright, so this is fine. So who's driving this? My man TJ. Alright, he needs to go so that we could just get some data banks. We need to uh, do the Great Monument tech anyways. Outside of that, the ranches might need a little bit of love. Uh, priority 6. It's allowed Taspadar in by himself. Lift off, nice. Alright, so we're down to 37. 66,000. Okay, that should be enough food. I think we're good. So, it's time for us to send our mans, the unfocused, into the ice planet. I don't think we need to bring anything, right? So the thing with this is that I need to pump out steam, which we'll be able to do. Steam is hot, which is great. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to seal this up right here. And we're going to actually release a little bit of the steam here via the vent line. And it's going to condense into water. We're going to need that water to pump into the aqua tuner, which is going to be what the plan is for this. We have power right here. And then once we get the aqua tuner in, this should be fully stable until we run out of coal. <laughs> That's like the only thing. And, you know, we'll come back with it. We have nine tons here. We'll be fine. And a lot of the steam turbines are generating the power for us. So it should be all right. Yeah, there's no transformer here. So everything here does a uh, charge up to the battery. It's not bad. All right. So back into here. Should be fine, right? The water got in? The water got in. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make sure. We have food inside. I forgot the name of that rocket. This is the... Uh... What's the name of this rocket? The Daring Pluto. Alright, we gotta go in here. Unground this so we could use everything inside. Has a suit, has extra suits. There's food, he has bins. And he's gonna be flying there, nice. Water's in the uh, toilet pipes. Everything's looking good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's speed this up, let him do their thing. How is the gas deletion? It's taking its time. We need to, uh, we really need to do this. I'm gonna put a bunch of reservoirs here because I don't want to make an infinite design. All right, because of the gas movement, man, I think I will. There's a lot of CO2 here as well. I think we're just going to start deleting the gas. Because this is just a lot of gas, man. All right, so... We're not going to use the Somnium, and I would love to get another floor here, because I do want some more beds. Right. And then I kind of want the gas to flow down to the bottom, so let's do that. 
having this doesn't really matter go around all we want to do here now is remove the gas from this area I think we could do a small design here it would be these two and then we would not be able to come up here but then it would work pretty well door door vent and then we would bop this as well I suppose And then with the airflow here, be able to pop into that. Make a door crusher design, much like this one. Just over here to get the gases going. Yeah, look at that. It's working. It's just that the other gases are slow to flow down. So we're going to pull it from here as well. Alright, we're going to try to do that. Uh, back on this side. My dupes are doing their business. Handling it, I'm hoping. Sending back the sand, sending back the sandstone. What's going on, Lord of Heaven? I see Wolver Bear. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. What's good, man? Mamba's napping. Mamba looks like a heart on the camera because of the pillow placement and how his body is kind of uh, sitting. Kind of looks like a heart. I don't know if you guys see it. Mamba looking cuddly as ever, dude, man. Winter's coming. I can't wait. Mom's gonna hate me, man. He's gonna be like, why are you getting out of bed? It's winter time, dude. <laughs> Mom's gonna want all the head rubs. The, fl uh, the fuzzy blankets coming out. It's gonna be time. Alright, 2.6 cycles for that. It's fine. This guy, this guy. Oh, we're out of power. Yo, man, we're going home. Every time, dude. There's never enough power. Okay, so we need to do setup, setup. Uh, we'll probably want a vent right here. And then I'll probably want a manual door. Then we'll want a ladder. Alright, we're going to set this up like this. Hmm... I could do it the other way, so that we put the pump here a little bit better. Nah, it's probably fine. And then we'll probably just want the pump here then. And then we'll just need a little bit of power, which shouldn't be too bad. And then we should be able to climb up once we build everything out. I would probably want... I won't build this out yet. Once the doors are built, I'll build the top layer so no one gets stuck. Because you can't get up here unless there's a door. And once the door is built, you go up and down. So I'm hoping that's going to be fine. Oh, we can't build this. We need a ladder there. Virtual planetarium. Chillin' chillin'. Got to get rid of this gas. All right, so another thing we're going to want to do along with doing this is we need to scan the star map. And the reasoning why we need to scan is because we need to find where the tear is. The temporal tear is going to be the name of the game. We already have the ice planet, which has the tear breacher right here, which is going to be how we're going to uh, find or how we're going to open the tear. But, you know. Until we find it, this is kind of worthless. So, we gotta explore the star map. So, there's three here. I don't think it's gonna be there. We're to go this side. So, with our rocket type, um, we might want to just launch and settle on the planet. Hmm. There's a lot of space scanning we're probably going to want to do. So we got to get it started. So let's get the first one started. Steam engine. That's going to be this one. Uh, food, bathroom, water. No food selected. The telescope's in here. We have oxygen for days. We need a second bed. 
All right, so we have a mess hall here. Uh, do we need two people for this? Let's do one, because I don't think we're going to have enough food. And then that's kind of the problem right now. We don't have space food. We don't have space food, so... Grew up fruit preserves and pickled meal. I guess we just need sucrose. So we need to make a sucrose feeder. Dang. I mean, it is what it is. We gotta feed some sweet oats from sucrose. It's probably just gonna be over here. Actually, no. Problem with that is I can't control how many sweet oats are inside. We'll use a small room. Probably like uh, by the kitchen right here, right? Oh, we can use this room. Oh, I can't move sweet oats inside. I would just have to use the move to then. Move to commands, kind of nice. Move to commands, kind of nice. All right, we're going to feed them some sulfur here. With the idea being that the more sucrose we have, the more gruff preserves we can make. And then I might want to do a purge of my uh, hatches. Just so that we don't eat as much of the grub for preserves. So it's like we have food, but it's like none of the food lasts that long. <laughs> we need to make food that lasts a little bit longer. Going on pre zero, how are you? It's hammer time. What's going on, dude? I might want to go back down to upside down is on right here. Dude, I think I might want to do that. Don't we have a fridge? Fridge? What is a fridge? I do not believe I know what that is. I'm just kidding. Uh, a fridge, what do you mean? I have a freezer, baby. Only way to do it. All right, we have to go in here. And we have to do uh, meme strat. We're going to use this power, and then we're going to, uh... Hmm. I don't use the power. The sofa barely turns on. I need to make a telescope here, basically. Alright, we need metal ore. Oh, we sent back all the copper. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah, 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 it's, it's for the uh, the rockets and the rocket journey, 100%. Yep, yep. Alright, we're going to mine that. That should be enough metal ore. And then what we're going to want to do is we need to start scanning. Because we're here, upside down is on. If I build a telescope, one, two, three, four tiles will be explored out for us. And that's going to be kind of nice. So we're going to want to set up a telescope here. Uh, I will actually need to set up a gas pipeline as well. And this is going to be an oxygen line that should come out of here. So we'll cut this line. This will come out left up. And instead of releasing here, we're going to delete this. The pipeline is going to move upwards. Now we're using Mafic. I need to make sure this is not going to bop me. 1400. Okay, it's not bad. Alright, so it needs to come out the space. And then we need to build a telescope. So, it's a good chance we'll have to build it off on the side. It's probably going to be on this side. 
Let's build out some tiles here. And then let's check out the navigation. Okay, so we can reach that. It's not bad. Luckily for us, there's no meteor showers on this side. So it's going to be safe. All we're going to need now is a little bit of power. Which kind of sucks. I'm just going to use... Oh, no, this is expensive, huh? Mm, man, this sucks. Hmm, doesn't this work? Ultimate meme strats? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, we'll do that for now. Mine that out, because we need it. Let's mine this out too, because we need it. That should be enough copper for now. Maybe we'll have to mine that out as well. This hopefully doesn't bop this. It probably won't. <laughs> it probably will. Alright, so we'll just do that. New printables. Take the hatch. Alright, that's chilling. Ah, uh, we're back. Okay, the problem is, is that we haven't charged. That's why. So we'll just charge that right now so that we could continue doing the uh, other stuff. The databanks. Food as decay. Grub fruit. That's fine. Are we there yet, though? Seriously? 1.4 cycles. Okay. All right, all right. Chillin', chillin'. All the pipes are done here. Oh, wow. Most of the pipes are done here. This is at 28. Okay. So I think what I'll do here is we'll dump this pipeline, have this empty out, and then this is just going to be uh, spam the reservoirs. Oh, I have like no metal ore, dude. <laughs> I have no metal ore. Ah, oh, that's so gross. The struggles, man. I, I, I can't spam that as I would like to. <laughs> we just don't have any metal. Oh, God. Dude, we might just oxidize rust just because, man. <laughs> we might have to go to, like, all the other planets. Just a telescope or something. Well, either way, they should be fine. 1.4. We need to build this out. That should... Actually, it's not taking that much time. This guy is doing the sweeping. This guy is doing the building a little bit at a time. Maybe take two cycles. But I don't think it's going to take actually that long. Not too mad about it. The only other thing we could do now is bring back the water. I don't think we need to, though. Oh, and also the carbon skimmer was a great call. Right here. There's no more CO2 down here. That's so nice. Our hatches are drowning. Cake house are going up. More and more barbecue. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, he's doing that. Can we do the cleaning loop? Just to move out the pee water, dude, one time. Oh, this is done. Okay, so we need insulated towels here. Yeah, and then we would basically want to just lock this up once we can. Oh, I need my automation. So it's a timer sensor. Here, we'll use lead. We're going to want a buffer gate. That goes inside. And then we're going to want the automation on the first and last and in the middle. This one goes in last. Actually, I could go like that. Alright, we just gotta wait. Ninety-four percent stressed, Hasmadar. What's wrong, buddy? His stress is at net zero. See, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem with max stress on this game is that their stress only goes up and it never goes down until they're sleeping so it's like you accumulate stress for the day and it goes away when you sleep 
That's probably not how he even works in real life. Feels bad, man. Alright, this is at 7. Net zero, baby. Stress only goes up, sadly. Alright, so we blocked out a good amount of radiation here. Is at 19. Safe, safe trace amounts. Let me try to put some tiles here. Make it kind of nice. This is on its way. The gases have settled back. Yeah, man. It's going to be bad. And I think what this guy is mad about is the pee water inside here. Alright, we're going to let everyone in. Because, man, these people, man, need to clean this up. Thank you for mopping, boys. Ari, you need to move, though. Stop. Do the, do the move. There it is. There we go. Alright, so now the hatch things are a little bit better. Stress is going down. Nature is healing, yo. Nature is healing. Okay, so we have 0.4. We want the BBQ to go up because we have a lot of hatches here. Have over 100. And then there was a stone hatch down here. There he is. He's, he's going to die. Alright, so this is up in... I need to do this. Construction 9. This is going to be 3 seconds. 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, and that's going to be automatic. All we got to do is turn on the pump, and we'll be uh, ready soon. And yes, if you guys are wondering, we are utilizing coal power as our main source of power. That's a lot of coal jets that we're tuning up. Using uh, lead. I might have to send the rocket back to get lead. Oh yeah, another thing we got to do is uh, data banks. Oops, that's the wrong spot. We're down here. Yeah, one tile trap. Alright, so... He's gonna get some data banks. We are 0.3. This hatch is evolving, nice. He's learning how to swim. Classic stuff. Oh, we got some uh, sulfur now, nice. So that's gonna give the sucrose. Sucrose is gonna be how we get growth for preserves. That's gonna be uh, really nice for us. 0.4. Eating his rat pills. Driving, good stuff, good stuff. Oxygen's at 2k right here. He's got to breathe. Alright, let's change his suit. This is going to go to unfocused. Oh, this is completely worn out. Feels bad. This isn't... Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll swap the suits. He'll wear this one. And then he'll dock that suit. Yeah, and he'll be there in like 60 seconds. Nice. Alright, so it's not bad. How is this rocket really quick? Uh, yeah, we'll do a solo scan on here. We'll just need the food. Once that's ready, we do a scan job. I'm hoping the growth for preserves. Alright, we're going to ban eating of that. Oh, it's already banned. Nice. And 20 seconds. Let's land, boys. We gotta fix this. We have a little bit of copper here. Is there any wool for my... I don't want to bring that home. Because we're not going to use it. <laughs> That's the thing about that. Oh, dude. It's too cold. It's negative 100 here. And the sleet weed isn't growing anymore. Feels bad so cold that sleep we can't even grow ice asteroid too strong all right we're here he's chilling he's having a meal before he goes outside what a guy all right so we are going to need him to do this
I mean, it's made out of sandstone, right? It should be fine. All right, he's going to build this, and then he's going to go back around this way. Oh, he just fell asleep. Come on. <laughs> A man's just fell asleep. Aw, oh, man. My man, dude. I guess you was really tired. No stamina. A little close, though. All right, so this is jamming because of heat. I don't really care if this actually gets really bad or not. The amount of water in here, though, is not enough. We need some more water in here. 4,000 kilograms? How many tiles is this? 11 tiles? That's 400 kilo. That's actually too much. All right, this 900 kilograms of ice is actually fine. I could probably move in the uh, 14 right here. Moving that in should actually cool down the gens almost immediately. Wire or the the lead melt at 330. <laughs> this iron was a little bit scary, man. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna force to wake this guy up. We need you to work, buddy. Oh, it's gonna move the ice. Let's go. All right, so the gas is moving in is actually pretty big as well. But then the ice right there. Mm -mm. Look at that. The temperature of the water drops immediately. 96 degrees. So then now the steam turbine could turn on full power. And it's able to release water. Nice. Alright, that's going to be the play for now to keep this rolling. And then we're going to have to build this out. Steam is at 170. Then it go above 200, which is pretty good for us. And then another thing we're going to want to build is a pump. Uh, how we have to do this is a little weird. I will opt for this side strat. And then I need to make sure none of the polluted ice is here. You know what I wish we had in this game? The ability to kind of like drag a square over the area and see the list of resources that is there. Because I need to move out the pea ice. P ice melts earlier. I actually would want P water, but then I don't want to have mixed water type in here. So I'll probably have to do this. Snow, sleet, wheat, grain, ice. Polluted ice that we're moving. More polluted ice. That's going to be a lot of pea ice, man. At least we're moving 240 kilograms at a time. I should have gave him carrying capacity. That might have helped. Moving a little bit faster that way. I can actually give, him, give it to him right now. Plus 400. Let's go. It actually wouldn't be that bad. Uh, I'm not going to give it to him yet. A job's gonna be done soon. He has two more carries. No, okay. Four more carries. Okay, everyone here is chilling. How are we inside the exploration rockets? Who's gonna be actually going on here? I need someone that could drive and use the telescope. So that is gonna be savaged. Oh, dude. Savage is a 32 morale dupe. Yeah, that's not happening, man. And the only other person that could drive and use a telescope is the guy that we have on the ice planet at the moment. That sucks. The perfect dupe is not here. All right, let's find another scientist. Avo. Dude, Avo's not doing anything. 
dude, we're, we're gonna have Avil do astronomy, dude. Thug life. Our Avil's gonna be the solo pilot. He doesn't know how to drive that fast, but he'll learn today. There he is. Alright, so we can't give him a, a mission that's too strong, right? We'll give him a close one. So we'll probably go to the bottom left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we could do that. It's close to the Moo planet. We'll get three tiles out. We'll explore up to the edge. We know that this is probably not going to be the temporal, uh, you know, temporal tear. That's not bad. We'll get some scanning. I always need this food. Uh, let me actually get the bathrooms cut up. So that we could have the uh, deep water actually ready. So let's count. This is 9, 10, 11. That's 1,100 kilograms. Alright, so that's going to be the water we release right there into the bathrooms. Let's look at this guy. How is the databanks? I thought he was taking a dump. Okay, he's just doing databanks. He's chilling, he's chilling. He has power. Uh, click on this. This. My battery module has 70 kilojoule. That's not a lot. Wait, no, that's a lot, right? That's only 30% of the max. Is it? Because it's 100,000, right? Yeah, yeah, that should be decent then. <laughs> I think that's decent. Dude, look at Avil, dude, with his strawberry jelly. Just making some bracken. Oh, it has food poisoning on it? That's rude. We're just trying to make some pinch of pepper nuts on the pinch of pepper nut farm. They chillin'. This actually worked out nice. Alright, so that guy's hanging out. And back to the ice map. Oh, this guy's tired. Oh, he's sleeping out here. Okay, I gotta sleep inside the rocket, dude. I don't know what you're doing. Stamina's low. So is he sleeping based on schedule? He is. Yeah, he's sleeping based on schedule. Okay. So the schedule means he's no longer sleeping. We'll have to swap a suit. Nice. So we got the new setup. And he's able to go back to work. Nice. Okay. He's getting the required wolframite and all that. And the granite. This shouldn't be too bad. Once this is built, yeah, look at that. A little bit of ice inside here. Cooled it down. All we gotta do now is just have the ice melt. The moment that happens, the turbines both uh, stabilize. Okay, radiation, new printables. Ooh, it's a little pit. We'll take them. Okay, so. There is no pea ice here anymore. There's a little bit of pea ice here. I don't want it to melt. <laughs> I should do this. All right, we'll wait for this to be built. This should not take this long, though, realistically. It's just a pump, man. Hi, legit. What's going on, TJ? How are you? I see you over there. What's good, man? How you is? How's the Mondays? That was fast. 
This is not bad. Hurry up the bridge. Nice. Build that, build this. All right, so with that, the pipeline should be built and I would disconnect this. And the steam coming up here, I actually kind of want this one. All right, so we're at 40 kilograms. Uh, one thing I do want to add in is a little bit more ice. So we're going to add in allow manual use. Liquefiable, I'm going to put ice inside. All right, no more. Actually, we'll do it like that. He is going to take some medicine, which is fine. Radiation vomiting, oh no. Oh, it's because you're on the surface all the time. That's a lot of rads, yeah, okay. We probably want a wall here. <laughs> we probably want a wall here. Oh, wow. Dude, that's tough, man. That is tough, Mr. TJ. Hope it works out. But yeah, man, some tough times. Hopefully it all works out, man. But I don't think I'd be able to help you out with that either. It feels fun. So I want to put this here to block the radiation. I just don't know if it actually is going to be helpful. I hope it is, though. And I just want to start doing some scanning. Oh, oh, we could probably start making rad pills here. That's probably the play. We could just make rad pills here because we have a lot of coal here as well. Rad pills are just coal. Dude, 60 tons. Yeah, actually, we could do that. So we'll make medicine. They'll take it every day to help them out. Ruby's going to need it, though. All right, so let's have that done. Now we're back to here. This is a little bit better. And where is my man's? Unfocus. Okay, so what you're going to do unfocus is going to go outside. We're going to need you here. And it's time. Uh, we are going to do this. All right, so we're going to pump out the steam. And release it here. And it's going to condense into water. And then we're going to let that go. And then as the steam releases, it condenses back into water. All right. So I am going to build a ice temp shift plate right here. A man's is asleep, which is fine. Stamina is awake. He'll be up and running. There we go. And he's going to build this nice. So a lot of the ice is re-solidifying. But that's because the steam was getting out of hand. I wanted to kind of have this first. So I think what the play is going to be is we build the temp shift place first. And then we could start releasing this. No, where's my build bar? I don't know how close to construction this is. Alright, so let me try to reset that. Still no build bar, huh? All those freaking items throwing at the plate. There we go. All right, so we should be able to immediately do this. So this is 132. Loses about two degrees, but it warms up the pipes. Yeah, so what should happen is the gas comes out and gets liquefied by the temperature plate. 
And that's because the temp shift plate's made out of ice. Now, even though CO2 is very unconductive, meaning that the heat transfer is pretty bad, temp shift plate's all we need. So we're hoping to get water from that. Now the thing is, is that there's ice here on the ground as well. So we need to release a good amount of steam. And if we could melt the ice temp shift plate, and the temperature goes down, I think we have enough water to potentially melt most of the ice here. And then it, the effect stays there, effectively. Because the pool of water is going to condense the steam fast enough. That's going to be nice. So that's going to be the goal. We want this to hit positive 2. There we go. Alright, so now inside... The steam is still pretty high. And then the water here is pretty cold. Pretty cold. Water here is pretty cold too. It looks like the water from the ice melted and everything stabilized. So we need to maintain temperature because the other ice is going to melt soon. Temperature is staying up though and it is positive. That's a good sign. Steam is everywhere, which is fine. There's enough ice to combat it. We just want to make sure that we don't take too much steam out of the box. That's going to ruin the uh, box effectively. A lot of the ice is very cold, though. So while I want to increase the amount of water we have so that we could pump it out effectively without like having it break inside the pipes. Alright, so we'll have this be a green signal if it's above 20. Nah, let's make it a little bit closer to 30. Because it's probably not going to be 30 given this room right here. 200 kilograms. Let's count the pipe segments. 5... 8, 12, 18, 21, 26, 27. About 300 kilograms. We have enough water already to fill up our pipeline. I guess we should. So we'll do that right now. That should be it. We'll have a one bubble gap. Should be fine. And then I will put this pump. And we gotta release the steam to the rocket engine. There we go. Alright, so this is the only segment I'm worried about because of the exposed insulated pipes. This is gonna be the probably the biggest drop in temperature so it's at 155 okay it drops two degrees over the span which is not too bad from 155 all right so we have a loop now everything's cool shouldn't turn on by the way Temperature is nice and cold. Nice, nice. All right, so what we will want to do next is make sure there's not too much water here because we're going to move ice into here. Because we need to increase the amount of steam so that we could pump it out safely into the rocket. As you can see, the pipeline was already set up for that. Yep, a little bit of cold damage. So it came in, and the moment it got out to here, it started to cool down. And it's not because of uh, any gas or anything. We're in a vacuum. There's no heat transfer. It's the pipes. The pipes need something called tempering. Tempering of the pipes means that the inside of the pipe is the temperature of whatever you built it out of. So in our case, the sandstone was cold, so you know we have to heat it up. Once it's heated up, though, you don't have as much temperature loss. 
so it's not as bad. Yes, once it's inside the engine, it's in a magical pocket that cannot be interacted with. So it stays as steam. And the crazy thing about it is that even if the temperature goes outside of the range of steam, so it's below 100, it will still stay as steam. It doesn't really care about the temperature at this point. It's whatever it entered as. The game just calculates it as that element. So if there's no interaction, it's completely safe. It's kind of like uh, if you've ever done the meta refinery glitch exploit, wherever you want to call it. Uh, it's very similar to that, how the contents loop, but then it's like nothing bad happens. But then you know that when you release the uh, contents inside, everything starts to interact. But yeah, as long as it's inside, it's safe. <laughs> Alright, we gotta move some ice inside. Because we are moving a lot of steam out. We're not even full strength yet. We need to get to 150. These packets are 500 grams, so... Alright, that was 500 kilograms of water that becomes 500 kilograms of steam. I might actually be done. <laughs> Let's not actually send anymore. If this solidifies, I'm not that mad. Let's get rid of this. And I think what we want to do now is we're going to move this iron. We're going to move it to here. And the logic with that is we are going to want this to cool down a little bit more. And then the contents inside here. It's leaving at 135, 139. That's not bad. That might be because of the ice though. Which honestly, I don't mind. It cools down the iron. I just want to move out the hot iron. Alright, so we're maintaining. Oh, it's starting to back up. That's not good. Alright, so we basically would dump this. And then we have to release all the steam here. And then we have to bop this pipeline. We have to have it flow backwards. Alright, more water. It's fine. I don't really mind it. But nice, this is good. Alright, so now this means we get free iron. And this area is somewhat okay. We would want to come back to bring in some extra coal. But outside of that, I think we're okay. I think the steam turbines generate enough power together that everything balances out. And couple that with the ice planet, I, the aqua tuner doesn't even turn on. I think it's okay. The only downside about this is when the, the volcano goes dormant and doesn't turn on for a while. I think my aqua tuner liquid freezes because of the map is cold. A little bit of damage there. We'll have to repair that. All right, so we're safe here. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I haven't gotten radiation poisoning here. Uh, brainless. Can we give you the skill, man? I'm sorry. We need someone to make medicine over here, dude. Oh, the other person is not a doctor. Feels bad. Uh, priorities, brainless. Doctoring? Alright, not forever. Let's make 50 of these. And then Ruby could start eating it. Yes, eat the rad pills, Ruby, once you get them. Minor radiation sickness is going down. I don't know if the tiles are helping. I'm hoping it does, but we really need that. 
Okay, so back on this side, we're good. Just moving some of the iron out. Look at the iron. It's dropping in temperature. Ice snow wart seed. Not bad. A lot of sleet wheat grain right here as well. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Can't complain. There's ice inside here as well. Steam is still at a pretty high value. This is still active. Alright, so it's, he's just going to do some busy work. If anything else, we might do some uh, other meme stuff. That I think I should do. Oh, I could fit this here. Okay. Okay, this works. We're going to do a meme strat. Uh, we're going to want to come out through here. And then I'm going to want to ladder this down. And then we're going to do a meme strat wall. Oh, we're going to need a... Oh, I don't have digging skill. That sucks. I would have to go through some of the sandstone. Outside of that, there's not a lot of materials. I don't think I could dig through the granite. The sandstone right here is going to be like all we have. And I can't dig through the granite to get to that. Oh, that sucks. I could deconstruct the tile. That's about it. The background tiles, I guess. 100 kgs each. But what we're going to want to do is... I'm going to want to build this out. And then I guess we could just use the regular tiles. Because we are in a vacuum at this point. We would do this. And then I would want to wall this off. I would probably want to do another ladder on the side, though, just in case. Alright, and hopefully he'll be fine. Beat this up back side to the brainless. Oh, there's no more radiation sickness? Let's go. Okay. Alright, so hopefully we'll get that in soon. Uh, let's check on the inside here to see how much calories. 50,000. We're doing good. Alright, so after he does this, we'll send him back home. And we'll bring back the iron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing great, doing great. Alright, so we got this guy about ready. He's gonna set up for a research reactor to charge this up next time we come back. We have power already. Uh, I might want to expand the power generators just because I might need a little bit more. We'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's looking pretty good. What we could do is, if this is inactive, this is three rad bolt generators, right? And we just put three of them charging into this. That probably would be the play. That way we could, uh, set this up. Alright, back at home, how is all the stuff... Are we not making... Oh, we're not making grub food preserves. What are we doing? I thought we were. Oh my god, we're just... They're just not making them. Feels bad. Let's take the oxalate. How is my boy over here? Still hitting uh, the buttons. Yeah, we have about 25% left. That's not bad. Data banks are at 62. What a stud. Let's have him come back home, man. He's been slaving away in the rocket. Temperature here is good. That's good. We got a little bit of bracking. 600 kgs. Seems like my ice planet always has crashed satellites and I don't re-roll for it. This guy could do a little flex on me. Tell me he always gets crashed satellites on his ice planet, man. What a guy. Y'all believe this, man? Gotta pour out some coffee for my salts. And guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing good. 
I apologize for the long break after the subathon, but a lot of things happened. I don't know why. I was probably due to. All right, so it's weird. During the subathon, I wasn't stressed, but it's like a different form of stress because I was stressed. Because it's not like I was stressed out. It was more so that I was worried that the subathon was gonna have something go wrong. So it was like a kind of like a weird kind of like fear, I guess. I mean, I guess it's stress at that point, but it's like, um, usually I, I don't deal with stress that well. So what happens normally is I would, uh, oh, this is done. Nice. I think it's done. It is done. Nice. Three seconds. Oh, this is connected. There we go. I'm in, boys. Alright, so it works. Alright, let's plug this in. This is locked. Nice. Oh, and I've been deleting oxygen over here. It feels bad. Hopefully, we've been deleting some of the CO2 over here as well. So we're gonna start pumping from here and start lowering the level down. We're probably gonna want to do this to get some more beds over here. So, so what happened was is that I don't I don't eat. <laughs> I tend to just focus on the task at hand and I don't eat. And I I've done that back like since forever. Anytime I'm stressed, if it's like college and there was a final, if was I was at work and I had to stay after, it it would be a lot of the same, right? Do a lot of that. So when I'm stressed, I just don't eat. So after the subathon, man, and all that kind of just went away, dude, I was having a lot of stomach problems. I was pooping all day, every day. <laughs> I was just constantly pooping. I would eat something and immediately poop it out. And it was happening all week, man. I would, I would end up pooping like three times a day. And I didn't know what it was. So there was one thing. During the subathon, I stopped taking my fiber pills. Because I just didn't have time. I would just literally end stream, eat something, and then wait to be able to go to bed. Because if I go to bed immediately, acid reflux bodies me. And I don't get a good night of sleep. That maybe was from the chill. It might have been, man. Like, dude, that week, dude, my poop has been feeling spicy the entire week. Like, I've been pooping. I'm like, man. Dude, I, I know we ate spicy food, but it's like, dude, that was days ago, man. What's going on? How long ago was that, man? I kept feeling it, man. That stuff. That stuff was not messing around. But yeah, did that. And then after the couple days and then the third day, that was when the update came out. And I was like, oh, crap, I got to do a video for the update. So then we took a couple days for that. And then after that, I needed to catch up. I was catching up while doing everything else, too. But it was like, dude, you could only do so much with one PC sometimes. All the rendering we were doing. All the uploading, man. It was just constantly doing that. Fun times, though. Not really. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to do too much. Hmm. Okay, so we have radiation sickness here. Okay. All right, so we're out of the rad pills. Okay, so I guess we'll do one thing. Unequipped here, unfocused. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. If you guys have been wondering, so much render. I'm so right now. I'm only at subathon day six, and I only have subathons one through four uploaded to the YouTube channel. So I gotta upload five overnight. I gotta start. Well, I gotta finish cutting up six. I have one more part of that subathon to render it's gonna take six hours though so i'll do it overnight and then i have day seven which is the last day and then i'll have to upload that as well and then i have my youtube series that i want to start 
that's gonna be for oxygen included so it's gonna be busy times a lot of things busy busy times but hey hope you guys enjoyed the content man that's all i could really ask for all right so this stuff is here i want him to work on that i don't think he's the right man for the job i think instead we're gonna have him just bring back the iron and we're gonna go home <laughs> Like, yo, man, he's getting radiation sickness. He's getting every disease in the book. All right, it's not that bad. All right, so after he does that... Oh, we have food rot? Oh, Sleepy Grant's fine. After he does that, hopefully we just grab the iron and leave. So that's going to be the play right now, man. Grab the iron, go home. Oh, we have another eruption. Nice. Let's have this do 127. I want it to be a little bit cooler when it leaves. And then the ice. Hopefully this melts soon. Oh, crap. Uh, I should probably monitor this so that it doesn't leave early. How much food do we have inside? 40,000. Okay, we have about 20 cycles. Just that he's not going to survive that long. Dude, 720 kilograms of ice, man. Takes a long time to warm up. Is that unfocused? Aw, crap. So the vomiting helps out. Oh, the accumulated... Oh, he has a lot. We'll come back, man. Thug life. It's time to go home. <laughs> he is sick, dude. Holy crap. We'll come back for the iron and, and all that stuff. That's fine. <laughs> all right, so over here. What's going to happen is, is that this is going to melt and it's going to spread out because it's a lot of water. And that's going to trigger my sensor to allow everything out. Oh, no, it's it's already doing that. Oh, everything left already. 136 degrees. That's not bad. Radiation vomiting. Keep it in the suit. We don't want to make the rocket dirty. Feels bad. He could poop out the rest of the rats. All right, so if this is going to be like that again, I think we're fine. Because the problem is, is that... If we had iron in here, it would all leave the moment it melts. But I think we're okay. Because I think it's going to be empty when this melts now, which is not that bad. Alright, we'll check on that in a little bit. How are we over here? You're sleeping? In the 96 rat spot? I know you have the basic... Oh, you're tanking it though. This guy is tanking the radiation just because they have the pills. Damn, the rads are staying at 0.16. Oh, now it's accumulating. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, it's because the rad pills went away. Dude, man, I'm sorry. You gotta wake up, man. You can't be sleeping in the radiation. That's bad news. 0.05? Oh, Aw, no. Dude, man, it's it's kind of sus sleeping in the rats. Oh, no. This is not going to melt fast enough. It needs to hit two degrees. All right, so I think what we have to do is just... Oh, but then I can't reconnect it. All right, we're going to go below negative 127. We're just not going to let it out because this is going to melt really quick. And I'm saying really quick, like really, really soon. About five, four, three, two, and there it is. The water's in. All right, the temperature dropped down to about 109. And then we're not, we're not getting steam anymore. Until the water boils, becomes steam, 
and then starts interacting with the iron. All right. And the iron is at 170 degrees, and it's plummeting. Look at that. Pretty good. The rail is barely going up. Turbines aren't even running anymore. This is actually... That was not bad. So the steam's at 61 kilograms. It's absorbing a good amount. And it looks like we're actually okay to just release everything. So we're just going to put a 127 here. I should run this on top of the steam turbine. That might have been a little bit better. Just to touch a little bit of the aqua tuner line. It's not bad though. Alright, so good stuff, good stuff. Uh, unreachable build, because this is out of power. That's fine. We'll just need someone to run the wheel. Uh, rad pills we have is five. Let's cut this. We don't need it for that long. All right, back at home. We're waiting for this guy. 2.2 cycles, not bad. Calories, pickled meal, 50,000. Preserved, 50,000. All right. So... We are going to do this mission next. We are going to do all the... We'll give Avil the good food. He better not waste it, man. He has toilet water. He has his oxygen inside. It's doing pretty good. This is going to go to here. Five tiles. We just need to make sure... He only has 10 kgs in here. That's not a lot. Yeah, it's only 24,000. Let's go up to 25. He's going to be out there for a while, man. And I need to make sure he has his astronomy skill. He could use the telescope. Nice. So he's going to be driving and allowed to do researching. There we go. Should be ready now. Crew change. That's good. Launch. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So over here, we're getting ready to scan this part. We're going to go scan the bottom left right now. We could scan on top of this. And this could be the tear. That would be wild. That would be absolutely funny as hell. If this was the tear right here, man. Not gonna lie. That would be amazing. I should actually try to scan that next. Because we can refuel from here. So actually doing the telescope part 2 after this comes back might be the plan. All right, so this is going to launch. We'll go down there, check it out, and then we might go over here to scan that. This is probably too close to us for it to be the tear. I'm assuming it's going to be on the edge. One, two, three, four. Scanning on that planet's not a bad idea either. Maybe we'll do a flyby. Spice the tofu is always nice. Okay, so this was the lead rocket. The only purpose of this was to go grab lead. Like, literally. That was the only purpose of this rocket. There's a little bit of food here, which is not bad. Sixteen thousand. And we would go to here and grab some lead. I might want to go back, dude. Why not? There's toilet water. Oxygen in the suits. Okay. Avil hasn't boarded yet. Oh, 
Oh, wait. The rocket hasn't been charged. We're charging it, but where's Avil at? Is he sleeping, some man? He's inside. Uh. You're allowed to drive. Uh. Oh, there's there's another crew member on here. Oh, this guy. There we go. I was wondering what was going on with that. Alright, right during a meteor shower, not bad. Alright, so this guy is gonna get a little bit of rocket water for the toilet. The rover module, we probably don't need anymore. Who is the crew member here? Oh, we used to send TJ. We might send TJ again. Meteor showers. Just have to deal with it. Alright, we're gonna probably go back and grab some lead. Fly back to the other planet. Getting hit, man. Like, it's a Pokemon game. Come back out to here. We're gonna fly to here. We should be ready, right? So, crew change, we're flying, three out of six tiles, and launch. We're only going to be there like a day. Shouldn't take that long. People of chat though, man, how are you guys doing? Thank you guys for tuning in, man. How are you guys today? How was the Mondays? How has life been treating y'all? How has the weather been? How are the pumpkin spice lattes this year? Come on, chat. What's good? Unreachable food. That's not a good sign. Oh, okay. You're not allowed to eat that. Okay. There we go. High stress. They're chilling. Someone's running the wheels. Nice. Getting the more things built. Oh, I would have to mine this. I think we could mine that though, right? Should be fine. Should be fine. Still sweeping. Still running the wheel. One worn out suit. Hopefully it's not that bad. Wait, did you just put a suit on to take a suit off? What was that? Oh, oh no, this is still CO2. I was gonna say, oh, it's looking good. Nah, 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 nah. We're not there yet. Still not a good area for us to kind of like maintain. Just gotta delete the gas sometimes. I think my PC is dying. Oni is so laggy lately. Never been like this before. Almost unplayable. Ooh. Uh, have you ever dusted your PC? When's the last time you dusted your PC? That might be a good thing to check out. Oh, it's $4,000, and you bought it recently, TJ? If you bought it, I would have to say within the last year. What? You're starving? There's food here, dude. Are you not allowed to eat this? Yeah, you have food. You have food. He's fine. Wait, wait, so you have a new PC, right? I just want to make sure. Somewhat new. I want to say like a year old. 
Uh, and you're running into lag issues when playing Oni. The only things I could think about is... I have to assume... Oh, this PC cost me $5,000 six years ago. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, do you dust your PC? If it's been six years, accumulated dust will keep your PC hot. And when a PC is hot, it doesn't run as effectively or efficiently. And then you get slow down. That's something known as heat throttling. Uh, outside of that, if you do dust your PC and the inside is kind of clean from dust. The thing I would check out is... I guess when you use Control alt delete you get a PC health status screen. You get to see uh, how, how much usage that is. Like, you get to see your percentage of usage of CPU, percentage usage of RAM, percentage usage of your GPU, your graphics card, and you get to see what's being used a lot. That's going to help you determine what the problem is. Whether it's at the graphics card level, the RAM level, or the computer level. And then from there, you can kind of, you know, try to fine-tune it from there. Updating drivers is another good one. Rage Killer, I see you over there. Uh, the drivers, it could be something along the lines of that, but it's Oni. Graphics drivers aren't as important, although it does matter. And then, the only other thing I could think about is if you play with, like, a lot of tabs of Chrome open. <laughs> like, it's Stardew Valley or something. You have, like, 50 tabs. And then you have another uh, browser that has another 50 tabs open. Sque uh, squeaky clean inside. I will look for some software. Uh, where about those? Maybe garbage that is worse than the problem. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you don't monitor that, I, I assume you kind of do. Uh, if you have like malware, <laughs> like a lot of these additional programs, bloatware that are on your PC that is running when they don't have to be, that is 100% the problem a lot of the times. Bloatware is the problem child of a lot of uh, people that buy a pre-built PC. I, I piece together everything myself and I buy the parts separately so that when I install everything, it has to be a uh, fresh install. I have nothing additional, right? So that way I could guarantee I don't have that much excessive programming on my PC. That's that's one of the reasons why. So you want to check out your bloatware if you can. Oh, it's because of this. Oh, it's because we landed. Okay. But yeah, check that out. If you have like an antivirus, might want to run that. But yeah, DJ, man, that's tough. Hopefully we could figure it out, man. Let us know if you have any additional info you could help, uh, help us out with on the Discord. And we'll try to help you kind of troubleshoot the program. Also, does it have SSD drive where your games are installed to? No, that's an that's a optimization thing, but I see you over there. Sounds like a memory issue, though. Either RAM or HDD. That could be a thing, too. Running out of drive space is another thing. Other Bob Cha, hello to legit. Hope you're living well. We're doing all right. Doing all right. Just trying to do our best. A couple of uh, minor problems, but otherwise we're doing okay. Just trying to make sure, you know, we uh taking care of business. I've been falling behind with some stuff. So I've been catching up with that since the subathon and uh yeah, man, we're back. We're back to the streams today. Totally not trying to figure out what the relative work experience is. Ooh, man. Mm -mm. There's a lot of bad words in that that I hate to hear. Internship. <laughs> oh man 
it, it the only time I would take an internship is if it's for a big company that you kind of like people dream about working at kind of a deal if it's not at that level they're trying to exploit you that's what i feel like i don't know if that's actually true i just don't feel like an internship's worthwhile at any level because it just feels like it's a way for them to you know get you to work for them without having to actually you know risk anything And the biggest part about that, man, Alinden, it's, it's really up to you. I don't know how much the money matters. But yeah. Dude, that stuff is... I hate it, man. Workplaces always keep things vague as possible so that they could have leeway for you to do other things that's not listed at the jobs. So good luck with that, Alinden. That stuff is tough, man. Yeah, make sure you understand how everything works. If it's one of your first jobs. If you don't ask anything, it's likely that you're going to get screwed over later. So, you know, if you have that fear of not wanting to ask this, not wanting to ask that. Getting that out of the way in the beginning is very helpful. Oh, it's for Cisco. I know Cisco. That's big. That's a big tech company, yeah. But yeah, man, make sure, you know, that's something you can kind of devote your time, dedicate to, because you will have to, most likely. Got to learn the ropes and all that, but yeah. And it would be your first job out of college. 44 is low. That's all I got to say. Out of college, my friend got a job in the tech industry starting at $80,000. And everyone that was in my graduating class that I knew that was in that field was making around that range, starting off out of college. I had a couple of friends that actually make six figures out of college. And then I never heard from them again, right? Because, you know, they're swamped at work all the time. But yeah. It's honestly, 44 is very low. Given that I'm talking about 10 years ago, they were offering that. It should be a lot higher. What do you, since you're probably not going to be a lot based on your experience, abilities, then we get roles over top of your peers. That's what you want to be getting out of college. Yep. You want to, because it's tech, right? Tech is actually top heavy on the youth side. It's kind of weird. But basically, if you're trying to get into tech, if you're old, good luck. A lot of companies look at you and be like, you don't understand the new languages probably. They're not going to give you a chance. That's the reality of the situation, regardless of how, if that's age discrimination or not. So a lot of the times they're looking for younger generation of people that understand the new generation of code for the new programs and stuff to kind of like move along with the tech. And as a result, you get paid a lot from the get-go. So you would get paid, you know, close to six figures, and then you would work your way up, maybe do, you know, quarter million. But after that, it's like, you know, you're worried about keeping a job after a certain age. 100% still like still 100% still valuable, but the tech industry is the one industry where understanding the new language is potentially more more valuable compared to the other industries. Experience still valuable, but it's not as valuable comparatively in the tech field. I I feel like because it's, it's, it's still value. It has value associated with it. And there's a lot of things that you would really only know via experience. But it's tech language and all that is so much more important from what I hear. At a certain point, man, once you have a lot of experience, it works against you. I know a lot of people that have that exact problem. 
It's it's weird, but it's 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 true. I've talked to some older professors, to some uh, people that are a lot older than I am, and they've told me that like, yeah, after you get a couple level jobs at the highest level, you can't get jobs at a lower level anymore. And because companies know that they're not going to be able to afford you, and because, well, they don't want to pay you your rate. They just want to kind of fulfill the role and find someone that's like more tailor-made for that. Overachieving at a certain point hurts you in the, you know, work experience category. Yeah, it's because the more experience you get, the more you need to be paid. And those jobs that pay well are few and far from uh, plentiful. So that's the biggest problem I hear from them. It's only when someone on the higher up retires that everyone else moves that causes kind of like the shuffling of jobs. Because they, 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 I've heard that from them. It's like, oh yeah. After you get to a certain point, it's the same people working different positions at different companies, but then they're just kind of shuffling along. There, yeah, it's a combination of things. It's a combination of things. But yeah, do the job stuff, it's, it's tough times, man. I feel like a lot of times, the majority of people don't know or don't have the confidence behind them to kind of say what they need to say during the jobs search, job interview. And it, it gets them in like worse positions. How was uh, the homie Avo? Looks like he's chilling. Are we not home? Where's my- Oh, my rocket's here! Oh, I'm so confused. Man, this is in the worst spot. I need you to lift up, dude. Just so that we could land in the right spot. <laughs> kind of mad. Guys, we gotta parallel park the car, dude. You parked in the uh, janitor's spot, man. Come on, dude. Park that on the right side. Well, there we go. God damn it, man. This is hooked up for the steam rockets. This one is not. Feels bad. Alright, so how are we over here? Why are you eating outside, dude? What are you doing? You're gonna choose to go to here to eat just cuz? Yeah, son, that's not happening. What is wrong with you, dude? Eat inside the rocket. I don't get why the dupes do that. What are you doing, dude? We're just trying to bring home some lead? I have to lock the doors. This guy's a menace. Just grab the lead that's here, dude. We have so much of it. There's iron ore, 13 tons. Let's move that home as well. That's all we gotta do, dude. We're just trying to move home some of that lead. Alright, so we'll have oxygen. It's really just the food and the radiation that will pop us. I think he'll be fine for a little while longer. Alright, so back to here. We need to ground this. Oh, you guys are filling this up already? Uh, let's take out some of the iron. Uh, I see you over there. The best thing I could do is if they have a job description for you, try to see if it's relative. And what you're looking to do is 
can you convince the person that it's relative? That's really all you gotta do. The second thing is, are you actually going to be interviewing with someone that you actually will work with? Or is this going to be with human resources, HR? Because the thing with that is, is that they're not going to be that knowledgeable about coding if that's going to be them interviewing you. And at that point, it doesn't really matter if it's relative or not. You could say that you have the work experience and you're just, they're going to nod along. I'm going to be real, man. People in HR, unless it's something to do with legal stuff, they don't know anything about it. Unless it's like having to do with, you know, anything HR related. Clocking hours, you know, it's anything to do with legal, has to do with the company, <laughs> right? It just as long as you convince the guy, man, it's all about confidence. Did you do an internship while at school? Con uh, confidence and transferable skills, yep. But yeah, if you want to look better, just think about it this way. It's not going to hurt you. Because when they ask you if you worked with this, if you worked with that, and you have worked with it, like, that's all they really care about. A lot of the times, you're going to have to learn things from whatever engine they're going to use anyways. Or whatever program they have. So it's not like you're going to be expected to know how to do everything. You'll, you'll still have to learn kind of like how they run things. So you don't have to worry about that. If that's your, something you're worried about. But for the most part, you should try to count everything if you can. Though. That'd be the smart thing to do. Alright, this is almost done. Once we get to this. We don't have enough copper or... Yo, that sucks. Alright, we're going to do that. Am I actually just out of copper? Alright, we're going to have to mine this then. I guess we'll have to mine this. There's copper right here, I suppose. We can mine that. Ooh, if you have a project you could show off to, that's actually pretty pog, yeah. grab the fungal spores all right all right so back into here this guy's chilling we'll need some rad bolt pills rad pills uh we're charging the stuff let's go back up to 99 and then stress is still a little bit high but it's not that bad anymore oh we're back down nice this is great it's breathable boys auto save light All right, so we have enough calories for the crew. Just going to have to wrangle some critters for some BBQ every now and then. Outside of that, we're not eating the pinch of pepper nuts. All right, so the Bracken... I need something known as the Molecular Forge. Do I not have that tech? I don't have Molecular Forge tech. Oh, that sucks. Okay. We are doing Rad Bolts here. We'll slowly do this. This has not been getting any more water, but we have a lot of oxygen, so I should probably ignore that. And... Try to charge both of these at the same time. Now we'll leave it at the one. So we'll leave that to slowly charge. This has been a little bit better with the gas flow. We'll just have to wait for this to kind of just flow down. 
virtual planetarium. Okay, so this side we're chilling. One, two, three, four, twelve, twenty. Okay, so let's get some better beds. TJ. Oh, he's still over there. Oh, he's had a lot of rats. Okay, let's go home, man. I'm sorry, TJ. It's causing so many problems. Leave the items there. Yeah, personal project still in the works. Pretty sure my commitments on that one are marked as build tools. Committing to a collab rep, though. Repo, though. I see you, I see you. I mean, dude, if you can, and you have a way to show it off, that's not bad. In suit, yeah, man. Yo, man, we don't talk about that, TJ. The dupes, they're, they're, they're able to handle it, though. The dupes are able to handle it. Dude, I need to get a new bed. It's time, boys. How many do we get with the recycles? Ah, oh, man. Boys. We got to recycle. I'm only at 3,000 right now. Oh, my God. Maybe I have been getting lucky. Because I heard someone in chat said they recycle all their stuff. They only have 4,000 points. I know I have more than that already. Nice. I might only have 5,000 though. <laughs> All right, so this one, this one, 800 apiece. Oh my God, that's actually kind of nice. Oh, I'm at 6K and then this one is a fat 1800. Oh my God. Guys, I have enough for one bed. I have enough for exactly one bed. Oh man. I gotta buy the rocket bed, dude. The race car one's kinda nice. There's also the Rubik's Cube one. Dude, I have 8,300. I gotta buy the rocket bed, man. I think I have to. The rocket bed's really nice. SS Napmaster. <laughs> Do the name of this bed. The SS Napmaster. Grand Prix Bed Dream Boat. You want the boat. See, if the boat was rocking and the water animation was a very jank animation, I would have took it. Like when they're sleeping, it should do that, man. That'd be nice. All right, Rocket Bed. It's time. Oh, we did it. No one saw that. Rocket bed. Wait, wait, wait. Rocket bed. I can't rotate this. Come on, dude. That sucks. You can't rotate that. What the hell is this? Orange. All right, we got a yellow stripe. Oh, have green stripes. Is that new? I don't know if that's new. I already have the rocket and bouncy castle. Wow, you have two beds already? This guy. Rocket man, it's playing in my head now. Got him, boys. We got him. Alright, we gotta do the diamond strat again.
All right. And then we got to do... There we go. So that's going to be the pattern. Y'all could see it, right? Diamond, and then it's arrow left and right. Looking good, looking good. So that's going to be the new bat area. That looks so good. I know, right? That's why that's why drywall patterns are top tier. The half shapes, the circles, the full shades, dude, and you combine them, you get some nice designs. But yeah. Gotta have the drywalls, man. The beds and drywalls, in my opinion, are top tier. They all look so good. And then we're just gonna put some paintings on top. Alright, alright. So how is the homie over here? He's chilling. He has food. Should be alright. Uh, the guy is on his way back. Whenever I send a dupe to the tear, I name him Major Tom. I see you over there to ground control. I see you, I see you. Alright, I've got to mine this, got to mine that. And we need another rocket, right? We could just take this rocket. And put a telescope on here. So that we don't have to wait for this one. And we just go back and scan this. Because I kind of want to. I want to check that out. Alright, so we'll have that. I will... I could also do a meme strat. That I don't know if it's worthwhile. It's probably not worthwhile. So let's move this bin to here. Let's deconstruct this. We will remove these tiles, I guess. And we will put more uh, pills inside. And then we'll set this up. So, deliver, deliver. TJ still vomiting, feels bad. Mm mm, TJ. The rads are going down, though. That's only saving grace. Okay, so far so good. We're going to go back to scan, and then I probably want to start making some plastium. So we need to get the Brax Wax Gleamer. Aw, snap. Okay, so we don't need the second one. My bad, TJ, my bad. It's because you kept wanting to eat inside, dude. You kept... You kept wanting to eat down here instead of just eating inside the rocket, which is why you got the radiation sickness. I don't know why, man. You wanted to eat outside all the time in the radiation. I couldn't stop you, even if I wanted to. A little bit too strong. Alright, so we have this. And we get Brian. Ryan actually can exit out into here. Oh, that's kind of wild. Because this goes into the uh, saltwater line. Wait a second. Oh yeah, but that's saltwater. I don't want to mix brine and saltwater. But I'm mixing brine and saltwater. Okay, never mind. It doesn't really matter then. <laughs> I'm mixing brine and saltwater anyways. All right, so this goes into here, and then this goes into here. All right, so the Brax Wax Gleaner, we need to feed it Brax Wax, or we have to feed it Brackeen, needs power. And then we get the Brax Wax Solid, Brine comes out, CO2 comes out, generate a little bit of heat, that's not too bad. And then we will need to make Plastium at the, uh, Oh, rip TJ. I see you over there, TJ. We gotta clean up this mess. This still has to be worked on, which I don't mind.
This is at 204 out of 370. Okay. All right, so we got to go back to here. This is going to be a databank rocket. And let's check out this guy. Still scanning. Mr. Avo. Got a point of interest. So we'll let him chill out here for a while. We'll need probably 20,000 kcals to make it back home. As long as the food doesn't rot anytime soon, it doesn't look like it will. So Avo is out there for a minute. Back into here, we're going to remove buildings, the plastic tiles. Kind of weird, but hopefully it's going to be fine. We're going to want this power line. And we're going to be building a telescope here. Right in the middle. We're going to need the rad pills for that, though, to make it work. Alright, so the oxygen is in. We'll get the steam in right now. Oh, it didn't actually connect. There we go. Who's starving? Avo? You gotta go eat, buddy. There we go. My man's is eating. My man's is eating. Oh, the line never connected. There we go. All right, another steam engine. Who would have thought steam engine would become our engine of choice? Who would have thought? All right, so I probably want to add in some uh, water into here soon. Just so that uh, we get some hotter steam. 103 is kind of low, man. Guys, you guys ever see Earth? This is what happens, man. Huge rip. It blows up, man. You hate to see it. That guy is chilling. How are we? Oh, dude. Let's go. Okay, so. Uh, astronomy skill. Neither one of you guys. We're going to give it to Ruby. And then I am hoping this doesn't overload. This might overload. But honestly... I could probably mine this out and get a new power wire from here. And it would probably work really well. I just don't want to do the build command. And I'm hoping this doesn't overload. It doesn't look like it will. And I need to connect my gas pipeline. There we go. Goes into here and we can start scanning space. Good stuff. Uh, I will want this. And we keep getting radiation. It's because we keep walking around right here and it's so many, so much rads. Realistically, I can't do anything about it until I get... Or, well, I don't want to get lead suits. But that might actually be the solution. Ooh, I'm actually going to grab the power from the top. That's a lot better. Alright. So this is going to be how we make the Brax Wax. Coming in from the Brackeen right here. We'll get Molecular Forge. And then we will have to make the uh, Plastium. Plastic and thermium. Thermium is going to be fun. Thermium is... Tungsten <clears throat> plus niobium. So, we're going to have to find the niobium, geyser. And I guess that means we have to get a lot of wolframite. Isn't there also the tungsten volcano on one of these planets? I don't want to tame that. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll have to. <laughs> we'll see, though. So right now, we're looking for the magma planet for Neobium. 
and the temporal tear. So scanning, scanning, we're going to be scanning up top as well. How is the Pluto? Okay, I'll probably want to bring this up to 30. The food here is not bad. We're not going to go for a long trip. We're just going to want to do a little bit of scanning and come back. So we might be okay. I just might want a little bit more water there. Build a telescope. Uh, get some more rad pills. And then... We should be on our way. Iron. Okay, so we should sweep everything here and move them out. <laughs> Realistically, that's what we need to do. We should just move all the food out. Or the metals out so that we could just keep it on the base. Oh, no, I forgot about this. Oh, dude. Every time, this is why I hate Steam Rocket sometimes. Cold damage. That's going to break too. That sucks. The worst thing about this is that I don't have the ability to really repair this that easily. Due to my ladders being on the left and right side. So that kind of sucks for me. We're going to have to repair that pipe now all the way. Uh, it should be okay. See how I can't build that there? <laughs> the rocket engine's a little bit too thick. Okay, so... Was well, that built, though? Telescope, we have suits. Toilet water. That is connected, so that's to the uh, reset. Oh, someone peed here? Oh no, they vomited here, that's gross. Alright, we'll take care of that. Gases are fine. Alright, how are we over here? Doing that. Oh, you're not allowed to do... There we go. Ruby wasn't allowed to do the uh, telescoping when she should be doing it. Going to research. There we go. That's what we want to see. Sulfur is moving. We're making rad pills. She'll run the wheel soon. I only have two pills though. Oh, it feels bad. The power here is different though, so it should be fine. Nice telescoping. Alright, we're scanning, boys. Gotta do what we gotta do. Need to scan soon. So we want to see the backside tiles. A lot of the times the temporal tear tends to be on the edge. It's just that there's a lot of edges and we're on a pentagon. So five edges. That means a lot of sides that we have to explore. That's not bad. F. Where am I? Oh, dude, where am I? Why is everything blacked out? Why is everything here? Wait a second. Why is my screen black? Dude, the black hole ate my game. Oh, no, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, boys. There it is. Nutrient bars. Okay, that was weird. I was able to mouse over and see the tooltips, but the screen was blank. That was kind of uh, a little bit scary. Yeah, we should be all right. All right, speed this up. A little bit of stress. Tasmadar. We got to mop up the water, man. We know it's the water's fault. Alright, so back into here. I need to give unfocused Strahi has it. Alright, so he's ready. 
Uh, so we're going back to the ice planet. It's going to be unfocused by himself. Uh, we have food inside, so we should be good. Pick with meal on the floor inside of the fridge. Nice, nice. All right. We're going to scan that. We're going to have three tiles, right? So we do get this layer still right here. We could scan these layer of tiles as long as we could survive for the mission. 46,000 kcals. Looks like we have enough food. He got food poisoning though because he's not washing his hands. Oh, and he can't sleep. Wait. Oh, that bugged out. He couldn't sleep in the bed. That was supposed to be your bed, dude. Feels bad. Oh, we found a tree. This is the tree planet. This is actually kind of nice. Because I could actually fly by. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we could do a double rocket launch. The only problem with that is that I would want Steam Rocket for that. Alright, so we gotta build a new rocket. Uh We are gonna we're gonna convert this rocket, I think. Can I build another one here? I could barely make it. I think what we might want to do, kind of weird, is make a separate area here to come out. Because I feel like I want to use these two spots for steam rockets. And my steam rocket setup is right here. So we should move the seal two rockets to the side. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now, man. It might be the play. So let's make a setup for this. Gotta mine this open. Gotta make some oxygen over here. Gotta put some suits. Uh, we need refined metal above everything else. Wait, didn't we have refined metal inside here? The lead. Oh, the iron didn't come home. The iron's on the rocket we just sent out. Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, classic, man. Classic. Does that mean we just don't have suits? We just don't have suits then. Oh, we can make lead suits. Dude, this is a meme. We have a lot of lead. Oh, you need a glass for this? Wow. That is pretty unfortunate. I mean, we have it though, so it's not that bad. Oh, and it takes glass to prepare. Oh, wow. Hmm. The, the lead suits, I guess, wouldn't be that bad. They're just freaking huge, dude. Why are these so freaking huge? I just want to use regular suits. We'll have to come back then. Looks like we won't be able to move anything. Uh, I could build another rocket platform somewhere else, though. So we're still scanning because we can... And then this guy will come back. This guy's going here to scan. We're scanning up top. This guy only goes to grab lead. I could just send this guy to go grab lead, to be honest. There's probably, probably nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know what? We'll do that. We're going to bop this rocket. And then I think we are going to bop these pipes. And then we're going to put a steam rocket here. And then the other CO2 rocket's going to land here. Alright, since we deconstructed everything, all the materials should just fall down. Shouldn't be that bad. Now 
Now, the only downside with this is I actually can't build a uh, steam engine right here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so I think it's every single one of these ladders. It's a problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so bad. So I want another steam rocket. Let's do another gas line. It's likely to be like this. Likely to be just like that for, for the other one. Square use the same design. The only thing we might add on to it is a couple of trailblazers. That's the only difference, most likely. I might even try to build it here. Oh, I can't. Ah, that's funny. Is it because of... It's because of this one. I think we'll try to build the steam rocket here. And then just have this be another steam rocket landing spot. And it should be okay. Okay, so this guy, the interior... How much power do we have left? About half. 36 databanks. He's chilling. We can have him come home though. It's fine. We'll send him back out again soon. Nice, nice. Alright, so that guy came back. Since we scanned the planet, a lot of the tiles that we would scan here are gone. So we have one, two, three. Alright, we have these five tiles left. And then we will reveal shadows over here to see if there's a question mark. Question mark's gonna let us know whether or not it's tear or not. So, it's gonna be not bad. Speed this up. Someone's about to break. Ah, shit. Tasmadar. What can we do to help out, man? Oh, I think it's because Tasmadar goes into the water tank to dump the critter sometimes. And as a result, they have a bad time. I think that happens, man. I think that happens. Or at least that's what's happening. All right, so we'll wait for the build. This guy's, he's not doing, there it is. Wait, how are you starving? Just eat the food. I bet his suit's worn out. And he never sleeps in his bed, dude. Wakes up to take a dump. Catches his breath. Goes back to take a dump. Takes the dump. Immediately passes out. Nope. Eats before passing out. He's at zero stamina. My man's struggling, man. I should have brought an extra suit for him. <laughs> I really should. So if you guys don't know, there is like a exploit going on so that he doesn't breathe any oxygen, although he is breathing. And it's to make it so that he doesn't have to have, uh, you know, excessive oxygen inside. I don't know if he'll actually get any scanning done because of the, uh, so to speak, kind of like the dance of death he's doing. All right, so let's do the rocket. It's going to be jank. What? Oh, there we go. Build on top of this a space for a module. We're gonna swap that. And then we're gonna do a battery in between. All right, that's at where it's supposed to be. On top of that, we will put the trailblazer. Oh, it's gonna be lead. I guess it's fine. We're gonna have to build two of those. Uh... And then on top of that, we'll cap it off. Oh, I don't have refined metal. That sucks. I 
I really have nothing I really want to use for that, huh? Alright. Technically, we have a lot of uranium. We could try to deplete. <laughs> oh, man. We could also just remove this rocket platform because we don't need this, technically. The inside of this has nothing we actually need. Uh, yeah, let's just remove this. And then we'll get the refined metal we need for this. Alright, alright. On its way. Still not scanning. Alright, do that one next. Everything on the inside gets deconstructed and dropped off. And then we get the refined metal from the platform. Constantly starving Avo. I should just send him home, man. There's a good chance we might have to come back. But then it's like, man, this guy's struggling. Food has decay. That's fine. So going home is fine because he has autopilot. Hey, we'll probably just land here and rescan. Have him go home. Jeez, vomiting man. We need him to stop vomiting. Alright, so that's done. We get rid of this. Uh, we need this for the battery module, which is fine. And then on top of that, nose cone. Nice. A lot of lead got removed from that, which is not bad. Alright, we'll just try to build this out. So it looks like we'll probably need lead to go out to uh, build the trailblazers, so... We could go here with the rocket. It's not that bad. This is better set up for that as well. Uh, food here is at 5. Let's bring this up to 10. And then we'll just launch this. The only thing is... Yeah, we need that piece right there. And in order to build that, I need to be here. Oh, no. I don't have to be. Oh, there's a ladder behind this. Nice. There we go. New rocket engine charge. One, two, one, two. Not bad. All right, we're going to go there, grab some uh, lead, some metal ores. We need it, man. It's a big struggle. I'm thinking even of sending over uh, freaking... What's that guy's name? The uh, rover, just to have them accumulate the metals for us. Dude, they need a drop-off on the side of the spacefarer for the rover to deposit materials into. That would be so good. Like, actually so good. Oh, you're starving because you can't eat muck root. Let's have you eat the meat instead. There we go. 800k, that's fine. Alright, I think she'll be fine. Unless the meat rots right when she gets to it. Let's look for that. It is 28%. It's actually in here, so that's not that bad. Alright, so we'll have to send over some food. That's gonna be over here. Gotta send them some pickled meal. Classic stuff. Just gotta give them some calories. Alright, so this is cool. My boy TJ's going back. TJ is not stressed out at all right now. Oh, you know what we'll remember to bring this time? Rad pills. I will not forget. And TJ will not get bodied this time. There we go. 
All right, so this is somewhat built. We got to go inside and build this out. Uh, first things first, we need our pipes. We need our toilets. This gets removed. We're going to get tiles here. Uh, likely to be plastic. We'll probably want to do a min-max design like this. And then we'll have ladders here, here, here. So that we could reach the top. And then... What type of rocket is this going to be? Oh, this is going to be for the tree, right? So we do some scanning. So this is going to be a trailblazer rocket. Uh, so this is going to be a flyby, right? So we just want to min-max build and then bounce so we'll probably need bare minimum right double fridge we'll run the one bin inside it's likely to be tiles here and then we'll just have uh two mess tables and this will be designed for now it should be all right g is still radiation sickness Take the sand. Calories are pretty good. Brainless is starving. Okay. Looks like Ruby had the meat. Oh, that's because Ruby has the pickled meal. So she's going to be alright soon. As soon as this gets dropped off, she'll be able to eat. go foods back on the menu let's go all right so from the scanning on this side almost nothing got scanned we just got the first layer i mean you know a little bit at a time it's not like the dupe over there actually has researching skill so it's gonna be a little bit tough for them but it should be okay yeah someone peed on their beds they are gonna be stressed it's good reason to uh, kind of be mad. Dude, someone just peed over all the floors over here, man. Alright, should be okay. How are we on this side? We have 90 seconds. This is going to take two seconds to get back home. That's fine. And did we ever launch? No, right? Yeah, we gotta get the Radbolt pills. Uh, this is Medicine 9, P9. Bathroom should be a consideration. Uh, they have bathrooms. So the person that peed, air quotes, they didn't pee, it was from the radiation. So they, they were just thrown up. Classic stuff. I see you over there though. Jack Bull, how are you? Hope you're doing well. We need someone to run the wheel though, 100%. Rad pills are at 8, so we'll probably cut the medicine making for now. Nice sulfur. Not bad, not bad. So the rocket control station should be here. Uh, I guess things to think about is... Do I want suits? I probably do want suits here. Atmos suit checkpoint. Oh no, docks. We will put two lead docks here, and that might be all we want. Then let's run a gas pipe like so. Let's get some O2 inside. And then it's already connected to the oxygen. Nice. So this is going to be like this. So that we could fill up the steam engines. Not bad. Let's 
What's going on, G? I see you over there. How are you? Alright, it's time to bop everyone's rat pills usage. Because all of my rat pills are eaten immediately, and that's not good. I need to save them for the uh, dupes that actually need it. Alright, we should be at the planet, right? Just a casual cycle 600. Yeah, man. Well, there's a lot we gotta do still. We're back on this planet. We could charge up. Uh... Just a casual 600, man. You know what it is. What's going on, Pentabell? Oh, man. Is it hot, G? How's the weather, dude? Hopefully, it's all good over there. All right, we're just going to charge up really quick. Damn, dude. That's hot, man. That is hot. All right, we're going to pump out some steam just to uh, recharge a little bit. My man's is uh, a little bit lazy. Let's give him a new suit. Let's also get him the rad pills. Nice, nice. I usually haven't even left my starter planet at this point. Yeah, man, we got to do some uh, explorations. Oh, gee, you messed up the commands. Hit the extra space bar. Oh, we could just scan from the planet. That's actually not bad. I could just chill like this. Don't have to fly out. And then we're just recharging the rocket right now. Hit us with a little bit of steam. Damn, 97. Humidity is dry, but you have a decent breeze. Yo, man. Hopefully you prepare for that, G. Everyone on this side, though, getting radiation sickness, man. Not the business. I have... I'm on cycle 500 and still trying to set up my kitchen. I have three cool slush geysers. Can't work out if I am blessed or cursed. <laughs> it's 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 only a curse if you're on a cold map. Because that means that you have to spend power to heat it up. <laughs> you're probably going to have to find the iron volcano, much like I did. I had to go to the ice planet. In order to get my iron though. And that reminds me. I need to do an iron move right here. We're scanning though. I'm going to just let him scan. But yeah, that's tough TJ. I had the no iron volcano as well. Making steel was, was uh, a little bit slow. <laughs> Gonna have to do some planet exploration, man. Alright, so we're here. We're here. We're constantly getting hit by this. Alright, we have six pills in here. This is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're good. So we're going to send our boy here. I think it's going to be, uh, it's TJ. My boy TJ is flying back. He has a new whip, though. So hopefully he's not going to be mad. We gave him a more decked out rocket, so he's not going to get sick anymore. Let's go, TJ. Drive that. I see you over there. Give me those data banks, drive that rocket, handle the business. Unreachable food unfocused. Oh, you're not allowed to eat pickled meal. Wait, you are. What do you mean? Oh, it's ground control every time. Go eat, go eat. You have the basic rad pills, right? Oh, you're not allowed to eat that yet. No, you are. 
Do you eat the pills? Eat the pills? This guy's eating some foods. Hopefully he has a rad pill soon. We need him to handle his business. Alright, so I think... Yeah, we're starting to take damage soon. So I need to do this. And then we have to empty out the pipelines again. And we have to empty this out again. All right, we're gonna release a little bit of steam. It's gonna condense into water. And that's likely gonna freeze back down to ice. But if we don't do this, we have a bad time with the pipes breaking, so we gotta do it. Outside of that though, yeah, a little bit of damage at the very end. That sucks. We need to maintain steam volume inside. It looks pretty good. This is still pretty warm. Aqua tuners are doing its best it can. And then outside of that, the only jobs we have are on the right side. I actually want Unfocus to telescope because it charges with the steam rocket. If we go back outside and click on the rocket engine, generates power. Oh, it doesn't actually show you. Yeah, 600 watts per second. So you want a battery to capture the power that you generate from uh, using the engine, and we're using the power right now on the telescope, so it's not bad. I am trying to telescope. I don't know, man. You went outside for some reason. Wanted to pick up some coal, deliver it. You love delivering coal though, man. Don't know what it is. Got a fascination for them rocks. There we go. Now we're just picking up some iron. Good stuff. Gotta move some of that iron home. Alright, we don't want this guy's job to be interrupted. Get him a new shirt. Nice. Now it's a full outfit. Good stuff. It's picking up the iron. Trying to bring it home. We need the metals. Alright, so how are we back over here? Okay, this is not bad. So we go for this. This tiles out. And then oxygen's inside, so we're good. Deliver suits. Let's grab the power outlet fitting. That will be, we'll just put it right here. Build that out, and then we're gonna be almost done. Gotta make some rad pills though. Oh, I mined this out. So now it's just air is escaping. Oh yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Let's, let's probably box that up, boys. The oxygen is uh, kind of leaking out into space. Cracking an ozone layer, man. Not good, not good. Let's go and uh, mop this up. Okay, so how are we over here? I could get the water pipes in. Outside of that, I would want food... 10 rad pills in here. Other one's gonna be for food. 0.7. Okay, he's chilling. Oh, and we're on this planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's just doing his data banking, right? You're allowed to do what you gotta do now? Aw, oh, man. He could have been moving items in for the longest time. Alright, so we are going to want metal ore inside the wagon. And the lead inside the wagon. There's a lot right here as well. There's no bins inside. We'll just use that command for now. 
I will try to move as much as we can. All right, so this is Trailblazer Lander on both. Nice, nice. Just got to build this out, and then we'll fly by to uh, this planet at the bottom left. So we're going to fly by and land. We're going to have to make our own steam and able to leave, though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm in between planets. So I might have to bring some steam. I might want a gas cargo so that I could dock and refill. That's probably what we'll want. The worst thing about this is there's no direct way to pump into that. We'll do it from the side. I don't have that? Are you serious? I don't have that tech? Oh, I don't. Gas distribution. Oh, well, we're researching it now. I, I was like, what the hell is that? I don't have the port. That was kind of jank. All right, so we're going to be moving that. We'll have him move the items in, take its time. Homie over here, he is... Yo, what's he doing? Ah, oh, dude, stop this. The coal keeps looping because of the automation from the turbines. He's, he's wasting his time. Now we're just moving metal. Alright, that's fine. Getting the metal is kind of nice. And we do kind of want it. Alright, get the plastic. This is about done. The only thing we would put here is maybe a couple of beds but even then I think this is good enough and then we just need a little bit of apple suits ooh one two three we got one more layer there's a item out here something and then there's these two planets that we haven't actually gone to that we could land on top of just to do some space scanning. Got some options, got some options. Dude, my mans need a little bit of carrying capacity. He really does. So he's just going to get the skill now, and he become stronger. So he's going to carry a little bit more now, right? Instead of 240, it's 720. Damn, dude, he got a lot stronger. Gave him those virtual steroids. Take the aluminum here, probably. He used to carry 240 at a time, man. Now he's flexing on these foos. Carrying fat stacks of 720 kilograms. Alright, so the thing with this is that we're going to have them change suits. Nice. And then he'll just do that now. Nice, so then you can just continue doing the job. Vomiting! G, you gotta stop vomiting. Ruby, you too. You guys are probably building all the time, right? Oh yeah, you need to get the pills. Same thing with TJ and G. Back to here, we're still moving out the items. He's got to take a dump sometimes. Dude, you need to eat your rad pills, dude.
The rad pills might be the only thing he needs, to be honest. There it is. Nice. So with the rad pills, he might actually balance out now. Calories are good here. Oh, we need the suits. Or else we can't go outside. Uh, yeah, we'll probably still want to. So let's go back to here, turn off the food. We need to send... I'm going to sweep two suits. Because we do need to send two. Oof, Ruby. Somehow not spilling over here. Taking the rad pills like you sh should be doing. Oh, not even gonna clean up after your own mess, huh? Feels bad. How's the homie on this side? Taking the rad pills, iron at five tons. Nice, refined metal is back on the menu. Big deliveries, man. Big deliveries. Can't complain, can't complain. Alright, so let's chill out here. He will start doing the repairs, it looks like. That's fine. So we could keep him inside by just hitting the crew button. So he doesn't have to do the supply job. I don't mind it though. I guess we should find the tear first. The rocket is ready. And we're just going to be telescoping. Entombment on this planet shouldn't matter. And then we're just trying to see what this is. Once we figure that out, we're free to leave. And how are we over here? My man's still moving out the metal ore. He's trying his best. A lot of iron, a little bit of algae. There's trace amounts of copper here. There's really just not a lot of metal in general. Ruby. 900k cows, okay. Just keeps vomiting everywhere though. Got the new suits, so we should go back to here, turn that off. Alright, so how is this? This is more or less ready. And we have a lot of growth for preserves, okay. So this is going to be a two-dupe job. Um, it shouldn't take that long, so we'll probably just put 15 kcals. 15,000, so you about... One KCAL a day, two dupes, seven cycles. Ah, uh, so let's go up to 20. Five, just to be safe. We're going to go with growth for preserves. Okay, this should be all right. Two suits. All right, so what we would need to do now is get the rock. Oh, I didn't get the port loader. Wait, that wasn't it? Oh, that wasn't it. Dude, where's my port loaders? Oh, that's on a different menu? Solid. Oh, that's on the gas. That's on the gas, dude. That Why is that on the rocket page? That kind of threw me off. Real talk. Haha. <laughs> That kind of threw me off, man. Aw, oh, man. Uh, so I need some metal. I guess I could just wait. That kind of sucks. Wait a second. 
Aw, oh, man. And there's no more steam in here? Aw, oh, come on. He landed on the wrong spot. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Nope. Alright. Uh, we'll need to build this ladder. God damn it, man. Every time. I could build one, two. I could build one, two. So I can't build that. Okay, so I do need this ladder. Dude, I just need to get a little bit of steam. All right, so we need to fill this up. Uh, that is going to be a split pass. Let's go with a 500. Very clean amount. Should be all right. Messed up, boys. Messed up. All right, so we're going to wait for some refined metal. That is going to be this guy. We're going to have him come home, man. It's time. Let's go, let's go. This is a chill. We gotta build this out though, man. Otherwise, it's it's stuck there. How come it didn't land? Oh, it's because it launched from here, probably. I was gonna say, why didn't it land the way it was supposed to land? It makes sense now. It really does. Wait a second. Did this not do the thing? Does this not work? Oh, it's because it auto leaves. Oh, I didn't set up the automation, that's why. This is our steam boiler that we use water from the same geyser. Half of the water becomes steam, half of the water creates steam, and then it cools down. And by looping the water on the aqua tutor, we could heat it up. Not bad. Okay. Pipelines are built. Feels bad. Alright, so we need to launch this. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. So I am charging nothing, right? These should be disconnected. Oh, the aqua tuner is running. That's why. Uh... All right, let's cut this for now. I don't want to overload this. Oh, I might have pumped something out. Nope, nothing. Okay. Once the water all leaves, I should be okay to do this. 115-ish. That's not bad. Oh, we have the stagger pattern. Or this could just be the last couple bubbles. I think this is just stagger pattern. Oh no, it's gonna freeze and break the pipes. Nope, nope. We're good, we're good. Okay, nice. Okay, so this stops using power. Oh, but it's not connected. Are we good? Are we good? We good, nice. 
All right, so we got to lift off and land. Got to wait for the run. Oh, this is... Oh, he's trying to land, but he can't. Oh, and he's going here. Rocket Platform 7. Nice. Okay. So I really do need to lift this up. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you... Yeah, man. You got to take care of your PC, TJ. You got to watch out for these suspicious sites. But yeah, the malware will actually slow down your PC. So you got to watch out for that. That could be exactly the problem, too. But yeah. Once you get that taken care of, you're going to want to uh, go through your browser. Whatever browser you have, there are a lot of browser side apps and extensions that you probably want to go through. Sometimes you might have that on your browser and that's part of the problem. So you might want to check that out afterwards. <clears throat> Because uh, a lot of the times people don't even know that there's such a thing like that. Alright, so we're going to go here. We're going to be okay with the fuel. Bonzi buddy? Is that something... F what is that, Cthulhu? Is that program? Bonzi? Bonsai. Bonsai trees? We're just going to go right outside and land. That's going to be the plan. That's the purple gorilla thing from a long time ago. Dude, I don't remember that. There it is. The swap. And then we're going to move that rocket to here instead. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. All right. CO2 rocket's a little bit better. The metal ore is going to be moved out. G's taking the pills, these guys. Dude, did they eat all the pills at home already, man? We gotta make this forever, man. Too many rad pills. Alright, so we're ready on this side. Okay. So this rocket is gonna fly by by the tree spot. Oh, we gotta get the uh, rocket charged. Okay. All right, so we're going to need two people. So we're going to need someone that could drive. Uh, we will probably send Bombi. And then someone with good building skill. It might be... S we might send Mocha. Mocha and Bombi. You got a phosphorus refinery running? Wait a second. You're melting phosphorite into phosphorus? I see you over there, man. Bombi, and then we're gonna send Mocha. Picks in Discord. I see you over there. What are you using it for? Alright, so we're gonna charge that. And then we're also gonna need the gas port. Did we not get a single thing of lead? Is that actually what happened? There's not even a single thing of lead here. Hmm. Geotuning and upgrading shine bugs. Oh, I see you over there. I'll have to check that out in a second. So we're going to do that. I guess because this guy's here. And we still haven't found out what that is. Oh, we're out of power. No. Okay. Uh...
I might just have to run the wheel. Oh, I don't have a good spot for it. <laughs> uh, we could just launch. That wouldn't actually be that bad. But we could also just run outside and get the wheel. We're just going to do this for power. That's kind of funny. We're just going to fly around for power, drop back down to refuel up with steam. <laughs> Such a meme strat. Going to drive for power. I should put a cartographer on that, just so that we just run into this. Alright, so here we're chilling now. We're grounding that. This should have been grounded for the longest time. And then this guy is waiting for the secondary stuff. We need the gas port loader. Alright, we're going to do five things of iron. Oh, can I even make iron here anymore? I guess I could. Space wagon radiation, that's fine. This needs to be grounded so you can stop using the toilet here. Okay, so now I'm just waiting for a little bit of refined metal. I need to replace something, man. <laughs> I really do. I guess we could replace some of the wiring. Because we could replace this wheel, because I don't think we need this wheel ever. The hydrogen should actually take care of this. This is copper though, I don't think we'll actually have to use that. Outside of that, we're just waiting for this. Refined... Iron 370, so close. Gas port loader is all we're uh, all we need, and it's gonna be here. Want a little bit of steam? Don't need that much. We just need a little bit of steam. Oh crap! It's filled up. Ah, uh, all right. So this has to get removed. The steam is actually not that hot. Okay, so we'll have to connect it to here. Turn this off. And let it exit out. Alright, so we're going to do this again. This is at 113. I'm going to heat this up a little bit. We're just going to let it loop for a while. Alright, and we're waiting for the port loader. So if you guys are not familiar with the port loader and how it works, it connects like a Lego piece, effectively. It plugs into the side. If you guys don't notice, the sides of the rockets plug in, right? So this actually connects all the rockets at the bottom, if you guys are not familiar with the rocket mechanics. And you transfer resources through the bottom. So this port loader actually connects to the cargo of all four rockets. But because there's only one gas cargo, it's going to go directly to here. So that's how this works. And that's going to be what we're utilizing. We will need a little bit of juice, though. So I will need to get this power line out. All right, so construction. Building this now. Circuit overloaded. It'd be like that sometimes. 
Uh, that's because of the awkward tuner damage. So I actually want to do this for now. I should replace that when we can. That way I don't have to worry about it ever. But we're just going to micromanage it this way for now. While we're heating up the steam. Kind of want the hot steam. It's a good temperature, boys. Good temperature. Oh, this needs a floor? Oh, that's jank. I don't know why that needs a floor. The rocket platforms don't need a floor. Alright, so we have Brax Wax, right? 15 kilograms. I'm in, boys. Not really. Still doing data banks. Okay. Let's try to get this done when we can. Uh, this is going to go outside for some data banks. This guy is... He's ready. We just need this to be built. Because this is at 150. That's already launched. Nice. Alright. So this is going to start loading in. This Aqua Tuner is having the Aqua Tuner glitch. So we got to fix that. Let all the water out so it stops drawing power. Alright. Let that back down. that pulls to here for that and then I'm able to draw this now and we need to cut this line so it goes directly into here and we should see this number go up so I probably only need about a hundred and twenty a hundred to 120 kilograms of steam just like that it's going up This is giving us a weird pulsing sound if you guys hear it. It's like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> the Oni sounds, man. It makes me think I'm going crazy sometimes. Alright, so we want to do this. What is this? All right, we have an ice meteor shower, this planet line, okay. And then we have something on that side. We might have to launch a rocket from this side. That would kind of suck. Food is going up, can't complain. Let's do a hatch ranch. How are we over here? Moving out the sulfur. Still have a lot of sand. Still a lot of telescoping. Right now, so far, so good. Alright, so we have to make sure we have this guy touch back down soon. So that he has uh, power. Oh, he's scanning it. Nice. That's actually the one I wanted to scan. There is no other tiles here that require vision. So if you guys didn't know, there's two shades of black. There is the see-through opaque black that is two tiles away from a scan tile. Uh, going to be a little bit lighter. Um, you could see if there's something back there or not, which is why you have question marks. And then you have full fog, which is these tiles that are not opaque. They're actually solid, kind of solid. You have no information in the uh, full fog tiles. So it could be something there. But since we scanned this, oh, there's nothing here. It's a ruined rocket. Mm, don't want to go to there. Um, that means this guy's coming home. Well, no, he's going here first. Wait, 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 can we go to here? Oh, we could go straight home. Dude, we could go straight home. I'm down. We're going straight home, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't have to touch down here. Nice. It's because, uh, we scanned that tile. 
So that's good for us. Um, that means he's going to come back home to platform number 160. Don't mess that up, man. Uh, this is at 150, so we're good. We're going to turn this off. Let this empty, and then we're going to launch. I will want to bring a little bit of minerals here. What's nearby? All right, 2,000 kilograms of granite. Let's move that inside. The exploratory. All right, and then this one is going to be set up to go to the gassy moo planet. We have the food here. It's going to go over to this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could go out to here. Scan this tile and then potentially one, two, three, which would give us vision on these tiles. And if there's a question mark, we would follow up. Okay, so that's going to be this rocket. Uh, there's no one actually good for that mission. Maybe Avo. <laughs> like literally just Avo. I can't think of anyone else. Let's charge some suits. We're going to probably want to. And then this is emptied out. I think we're ready. So this guy is going over to... Oh, no. It's going over to here. And then our crew is Mocha and Bombi. Funny enough, they both have the same character sprite. This is ready to do the land. The rocket is ready foods inside about 40,000 calories should be good should be good wait 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 oh there's no toilet water classic Classic, no toilet water shenanigans. God damn it. Good thing I checked. It, almost, it was almost a bad time. Gonna add some toilet water really quick, y'all. Uh, over here, we'll need a new suit. I guess we could crew up, just because it's gonna be ready. Yep, Bombi and Mocha coming in. And once the toilet water gets in, they'll be uh, going out. And... Let's go. They should be ready to launch. Alright, so this guy is missing a charged suit. We're going to move that inside to the old operational. We're going to do the same thing with this one. All right, and we're going to scan bottom right. Not bad. So everything else is on the way. Uh, how are we in this guy? About half the power. Can't complain. Toilet water's still there. Data banks coming home and launch. Okay, cool. Everything is somewhat ready. Still doing another layer right here. All right, this is not bad. This is not bad. Zero rads. It's going to shoot soon. All right, so they need to be allowed to eat the food. And no rad pills yet. They're chilling. So right now, I guess what we would want is the molecular forge. After we get the databanks, of course. I guess we could do this before doing that. Because it's a lot less uh, science. Oh, 
Oh, they're in. Okay. So, Avo, Mr. Avo, you're going down this way. Going down four tiles. Oh, this is not charged. Oh, okay. We got to charge the rockets again. Who's starving? Bombi. How are you starving? Bombi, can you go eat? Nice. Bombi's going to eat. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, in five cycles, we'll be able to do that. And the play is going to be... Oh, I didn't I didn't remember to bring this. Oh, crap. Uh, gas output. Here? Wow, that's exactly 2,000. And then I have to cut this. And then we need to probably remove that for the granite. And then when we land, I'll probably need a couple of segments from the actual planet itself. Hopefully we'll be fine. If not, I'll have to remove tiles here, which should be okay. I should have, uh, I could also deconstruct the bin for a nice 400 kilograms. All right, so back at home should be a little bit better. And we should be about good. Nice. All right, so this is good. Got to empty this out. And then let's see. So we're going to go down five tiles this way. So one, two, three, four. And I want to go out five, but then we have to scan the tile. We have a couple extra suits here. We have food inside. Should be about all right. So here, here, there. Avo, nice. And we have bathroom water. All right, we'll be good. We will be good. Good scanning. Not bad, not bad. Snazzy suit. A little bit of gas management. Alright, so we're tacking up for the Great Monument. And we are trying to find the tear right now. The Plastium, we're working on. We don't have the Magma Planet either, but we gotta look for that. But right now, we're doing a bunch of space scanning. We're gonna land here to try to uh, set up a telescope setup. We're gonna build a rocket platform, and then what we're gonna wanna do is land and then start telescoping if we can. And then potentially just go to and from and start trying to scan from there, much like how we did it over here. He's gonna come out and scan. This is a point of interest. Chances are the temporal tear usually is not part of a cluster. It's usually by itself. So we'll have to see if that's the case. We're hoping for that. And then outside of that, we're kind of waiting for the rock to come back home. How are we on the side? Oh, are we done scanning here? No, we're not. We have these tiles still. And then these as well. I mean, I guess they're chilling then. Alright, so we were sending back sand. We don't sieve anything. Igneous and sandstone. Okay. Let's look at the minerals. Sandstone is at 173 tons here still. Goddamn. And sand is at 100 tons. Okay. It's going to take some time for us to actually finish doing that, huh? Got to mop up some of the water. Should be alright, should be alright. All the Sweetles died. 32. 
Oh, the eggs got moved out. No. Were the Sweetles just cramped? 32 tiles is not enough to cramp a Sweetle, though. Oh, that sucks. The Sweetles died. I actually don't know what happened to them. That means we don't get as much sucrose anymore. Feels bad. They were wild too. I don't think there's a spot where we automatically grab the eggs. Bleach stone corner. I don't not believe we're dropping off Sweetles in a kill box. Hmm, kind of weird. That's fine, though. Just a little bit of sugar. We should be alright. All of the nuts, though, man. Pinch of pepper nuts. Doing pretty good. Dude, look at how the temperature barely affects the water, man. The freaking oxygen here is like 78 degrees, 80 degrees. And then the water here is chilling at 28. And this is a vacuum? The heat transfer from gas to, to liquid is not that strong. All the rockets are gone. 3.9, 1.7, 3 cycles. How are we over here? A little bit less than half. We are at 38 data banks. It's not bad. Oh, what's happening here? Are we out of? No way. There's no way we're out of phosphoride, right? Guys, how are we out of phosphoride? We have Dreckle Ranches. We should have them by the tons. Oh. Nice, nice. Gotta control the gases, man. So far, so good, though. Alright, so we know it's on this corner. Everything here is kind of clear. We're gonna come out to here to scan this corner. We'll find out if there's a chance of a tear here. Once we do the flyby, set up the base, we're probably going to fly back home and then make one of our, probably send this rocket because it has a telescope on it, to go to here after we have the platform set. So we might have to add the gas cargo here. Maybe. And then after that, we need to move up north. It's, it feels like they want me to base on one of these planets. One, two, three, four, five. So we could actually set up a CO2 setup here. CO2 vent, it's not bad. And then we could use that for CO2 rocket. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'll probably want another steam rocket here. We could try to use the volcano this is frozen forest man making steam on this is gonna not be fun there's no power geysers here technically i could convert water to hydrogen but that's about it radioactive crust forest magma jungle rust yeah it's cold is this just a tear at run or do you have to do another goal uh we're gonna do tear and statue I don't want to do the third one, which is the artifacts. So I didn't even attempt the artifacts. We're doing these two, and then we need to make plastium. So the plastium goal is not that bad. All we kind of have to do right now is find the magma planet. And then once we have that, we would have the resources we need to make it. So finding the tear and then setting up the setup for that probably be like two streams but yeah we're going to be wrapping this up in a handful of streams probably two to three 
And then we get to do a couple of meme runs. We'll finish the Gassy Moo speed run. And then we potentially have the new modded map I want to play on. But yeah. I want to finish this before we move on to that. Gotta make Plastium, boys. Gotta scout. So if I go out to here, one, two, three, four, five. I could scan out this cluster, one, two, three, and get a little bit more range, which isn't bad. I could probably do that after uh, this guy comes back home. New mod map, yes, yep. So you remember Hunkathula? Yeah, I said that a long time ago, but I'm uh, gonna be uh, playing that mod map. Once we are done. I don't know if we're going to add any like stipulations on like challenge mode, things like that. But for the most part, yep, we're going to be checking that out. Going to see how that map is uh, composed. And then from there, we'll see. never too much hatches. It's never too many hatches. Eight critters, two out of eight, that's fine. Everything's looking like it's chilling though. Oh, there's not enough space for the brine. Ah, uh, we're gonna do a swap right now. Just so that I could empty out the water. I still want to see a science run. That is one of the runs I'm thinking about doing. How fast can we get all research? Try to get the honorary doctorate uh, achievement as fast as possible. Oh, analyze every geyser vent volcano. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting. So we would do a analyze every geyser run. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. We have a list of geysers here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 25 geysers. That's not that bad. There's 25 geysers. I'm assuming minor and full size volcano are two different ones. We could probably do that though. That would actually, man, that would have been great to do during a subathon. <laughs> That's a great idea, man. We're, we're gonna probably want to do that then, yeah. We'll check that one out. 2.3, 1.4, 0 0.5. How was my man's over here? He could probably land. Space wagon. Not necessarily every type, just all the ones that are applying towards. I like the idea of scanning every geyser. And that could be the speed run. So you gotta get a bunch of scientists living, you know, you kinda wanna be on the edge. You don't have to over provide the calories, you just wanna, you know, live long and prosper. The indefinite stability, it's kinda just whatever's. I like that idea, and then we kind of have to find the Neobium Volcano, so you have to find the Magma Planet. That's not bad. Guys, I gotta pee. I'll be right back really quick, though.
What's going on, Dragon Gawain? We back. I just have to pee really fast. That run is not done yet. We still have to look for the planet. But I found something out about that run that I don't know if I want to reset it. Do you guys know this playthrough that we're playing on right now? You know what's crazy about this? This playthrough that we're playing on, the first planet we found was the Gassy Moo planet. <laughs> That's such a meme, dude. The first planet we found is the Gassy Moo planet. That is such a meme. You know what I'm saying, man? That is such a meme. So it makes me think maybe we could try to do that. <laughs> Start on this planet, get to the top, and try to find the gassy moo planet ASAP, and then fly to it. I don't know if this setup, though, is guaranteed the over, uh, radioactive ocean and gassy moo. But the run that we started during the subathon, we have not finished it yet. Uh, Gawain, if that's what you're asking about. That is not something we've uh, completed yet. Still in the book, something we have to do though. And we will complete it once we're ready. But uh, right now we haven't yet. But I was thinking maybe we could do this planet start instead. Alright, so who's vomiting? Tasmadar? Yo man, that's not good. He has a soiled suit. You're not actually starving though, right? You're just doing the uh, shenanigans because of the uh, holding the breath. Oh, you're stress vomiting. I was like, you're not... There's nothing wrong with you. You're stress vomiting, okay. Alright, Tasmodar's having a bad time. There we go, there we go. Just gotta clean this up. Just a little bit of, uh, you know, vomit. Come on, man. I need you to stop stress vomiting. Don't want you to die, man. Keeps vomiting anyways, okay. And of course, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying the Onis. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am happy to help. Oh, it's it's working, boys. Oh, we had we had the water uh, step over. That's actually nice. And this is detecting Brian. Okay. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Thoughts on building a massage clinic? I could build one, but yeah. I hate massage clinics. We're at the point where we could actually benefit from having one, though. The thing about massage clinics is that I think they're a waste of power. But it does reduce the stress, because we're playing on max difficulty. A lot of the times, the idea I feel like is better is if you just have better morale. And if you manage that, you automatically have decent stress. But because we're playing on max difficulty, that wash point is a lot higher. So like when nothing is bad, it's it's wash. Minus 20 plus 20. <laughs> kind of sucks. So it's like we could actually use one. We could. We really could. What's going on, Stefan? How are you? I see you over there. If you have reed fiber, you could make some carpet tiles. Oh, we do have reed fiber. I have like 400 of it. Just because we have the Dreckle Ranch. Nah, no carpets, man. They don't deserve it. <laughs> That's messed up. It's fun. How are you, though? Hope you're doing well. What's good? What's good?
tickle those toes. Yeah, avoid eating it is definitely preferable. But like when you have a single dupe or two getting high stress occasionally, I find they help. They do. It's usually the fact that you you kind of have to have stable power. That's not having a dupe run the wheel for it. I feel like. Because when, when you don't have stable power, you're sacrificing a dupe to make another dupe happy. So you're down two dupes. And to me, it's like, that just feels bad. But yeah, you are right. We're at a point where it could actually be somewhat not that bad. Alright, so let's go through here. We're going to go through a suit swap. Avil, dude, we need you to get the new suit. Oh, he fell asleep. That's not good. Alright, so this guy is scanning this area. One, two, three, four, and then we'll move out. Five. One, two. I don't know where he was scanning, but we gotta work on this. I think we were scanning here or something. Alright, so he's gonna put the suit on. Hopefully, once he wakes up. I haven't considered two wheels because I uh, tend to phase myself out of the ASAP. I haven't really played on any harder difficulty scenarios though, so I don't know what the coal richness is like. Oh, I got you. But yeah, for the most part, yeah, I, I just don't like building those. If I could avoid it, I, I'll try to. Wakes up the poop. Do we have a meteor shower or something? It's gonna go eat. He's got his suit assigned, hopefully. Do we have a meteor shower or something? We did. Okay, we gotta mine this out. That should be fine on that side. Alright, so we have 12 seconds. Not bad. This guy is one cycle. That's not bad. Alright. I hear a siren. So the power from here is at 90%. Okay, so we're not going to use this. Because I could actually drive to this tile and it will charge my battery. So we're going to wait before we move on that tile. So since we gave him a new suit, he's going to be scanning with absolute just speed. He's going to become a stud. Circuit overloaded. Where was that? That's fine. Back to here, though. Oh, is he trying to land on that rocket? 160. That's here. How come? Oh, it's untombed. Let's land here instead. It's entombed so he couldn't land until we get the uh, dupes to mine it out. This is still fine. We could still charge here, oxygen, steam, and all that goodness. Alright, so this is our scanning rocket. Let's reground this. Uh, some of the food rotted, which is fine. We'll move some new stuff inside. We have to scan. Oxygen is charging. We need some new toilet water, so we'll do that now before we forget later. So this is at... we'll go with the 100. Alright. So the only thing we're waiting on here is... just the food restock. And after that's done, we'll actually probably launch them immediately to here. We could also move out the gas that we have here inside into a cargo. A gas reservoir. That actually could work. Would be kind of a meme strat, but it would work. Yeah, should be fine. Back to here. I think we're going to get some more data banks. Data banks are out. Everything is refilled, so we're good. All right, should be fine. Do we have any extra power lines that are not active that I could put a massage table on kind of casually?
Oh, it's probably this line. So this is only bad when the aqua tuner is on, and even then not everything is going to turn on at the same time. Okay, so... Medicine? Massage table. We'll get exactly one. Speed that up. Ah, uh, this is fine. So I was potentially thinking about the cargo on top of this. I, I, I'm thinking we should. So I could reach. It's not too bad. We gotta charge up the steam though. Yep, so we gotta add steam. So that's gonna be here. We're gonna heat it up and we're gonna add more water to it as well. That's fine. We're gonna ignore that. Oh, for the room type? Inside the rocket? I don't have a uh, tile space for Great Hall. Great Hall minimum size is... Uh, oh, no, for the massage table. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you were talking about the Great Hall. Nah, man. He's, he's, he's got the sweater, dude. That's all, that, that's all he needs. Sweater's OP. Gotta keep them happy. Alright, so data banks. We have data banks. We have no power here. Okay. That's not a good look. We gotta land, dude. We generated no power. Oh, it wasn't plugged in. So that's why. So we gotta charge that. How come this power is going down? Oh, it's because this is broke. Snap, y'all. This be broke, y'all. Alright, it's not bad. Alright, so we're waiting on this. This is 0.3 cycle. <gasps> we found it! Yo! What? It's actually right here? Dude, we're done. Hey, dude, that's a f that's a close tear, dude. It's four tiles from the edge. Are you kidding me? We're actually good. Okay, so we're just looking for the magma planet now in order to get neobium. We still got a scan. The tear seems pretty close. Yeah, man, it is. It really is. It's one, two, three, four, five. I could reach this with a CO2 rocket. That's insane. I could reach this with the most basic rocket we have. That's actually insane, man. Actually insane. All right, so this means that this rocket is going to be compromised. Uh, we don't need the telescope anymore. We are instead going to set this up to be the rocket we need for the researcher researcher reactor imagine needing the tech pass dude i had to otherwise the ice planet was gonna suck <laughs> i had to man ice planet was gonna suck man i needed the extra carrying capacity all right that's actually really nice for us. So we could change this rocket. I'm still going to do the uh, setup over here. We'll still let him just scan. And then... I mean, I guess I could send this back to here. Because I do have the telescope on it. But I don't think it's worth it. We might be better off just building a telescope. Living here for a while. Using the oxygen we have on the map. Because we are going to have algae. Just make a box with algae inside. And then just try to do the thing. I mean, we got to do this now anyway. So it's time, boys. It's going to pop up. Three, two, one. Come on, where's it at? There it is. All the algae in the world. Okay, so we know this is the tree map. 
and I probably want to be up here. So let's go out. Let's actually go inside. And we gotta do this before they die. They gotta change suits. And if they don't, they lose. Bombi and Mocha. Alright, we gotta watch them do this. Alright. And then we go out here. And we select Mocha first. She is going to land. There is a glitch with this game. I am going to attempt the glitch. I want to see what happens. And we got to put these next to each other. And then we go back, unpause. All right. The guy didn't deploy. There it is. We gotta deploy, gotta build. All right, we got the lead and then we just gotta build and then we're done. All right, so crash satellite, we got the kitchen sink trees living on the inside and we have cold algae so we could literally just chill here and just telescope one two three four so there's almost no chance we get another planet here because this is a cluster and you typically don't have clusters next to a planet like touching and then this is the edge of the map so the planets have a ring around it. So I don't think it's going to be anything here. There's a probably a huger chance of us going to this planet and then finding this to be the magma planet. It makes a lot more sense. Yep, getting some radiation sickness. Let's land the rockets. And what we want to do is, since we have the space fairer, and look at the gas. Since the, the engine is up top, we don't heat up the algae. So good. Look at that. Doesn't even heat up the algae. Alright, you guys need to go inside. Climb right in. And then, this is no ground. We need them to eat the Radbolt pills. There we go. And then what we need to do afterwards is we need some minerals. And we're going to need here. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't need that. And then one, how long is this? 10. Okay, so we need some minerals. So it looks like it's gonna be here. We need the sedimentary rock. And then we're gonna build this out. Because of the uh, steam in here has to refill into the engine. Should be alright. Just send some CO2 bottlers or whatever loaded up in there. Nothing uh, will beat my first trip to the magma planet. Where I not only had to send over CO2 rockets via planetary launcher. I also had to send O2 to save my dupe. Oh wow. Dude. That's, that's kind of wild, because a lot of the times, man, that is a disaster. <laughs> this is a jank setup, but we're basically taking the fuel and putting it into the engine.
Nice. All right. Let's go inside. Let's connect this. Hello? Oh, this needs power. My bad. I forgot about this. And then steam comes through and outside. And then we charge a rocket. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Look at the steam fill up. And then what we want to do is be able to reach home. Got to go up to seven. And we're good. All right, so we're going to go back into here. We're going to cut the power so that this just stops pumping. Then we'll cut this afterwards so we don't get damaged pipes. And we should be fine. We can reach home. Seven out of eight. Nice. Well, let's go, let's go. Uh, do you just want to land? Don't even want to put down a mini pod? Yeah, I don't really care. We have so many planets that we could go to that I don't think it's going to be a big deal. We can, though, if we really want. We can do that later. We still got to explore for the magma planet. Alright, so this is going to be plastic back. Get a couple more bins. Oh no, we don't need the bins. We have them down there. No, the the point of coming here was to find the tear potentially. So when we found the planet, I wanted to go there land so that we could either go deeper or we could stand here and scan. But then we found the tear. So then it's like, well, we don't have to go here anymore. <laughs> I was like, okay. Because at the when before we found this, we were like, we don't know where it's at. We kind of just have to start exploring. So since this is the ice planet and we get out to the edge, I was thinking we just go clockwise. And then we would eventually get to the top and then uh, we would find everything. But then we found it first try. So we kind of have to have a change of plans. So instead of going out here to scan, because it doesn't look like there's going to be a planet here unless it's like right here. We're going to go out this way to try to scan this cluster to find the magma planet. Because we have a telescope on this planet, upside down is on. And we scan these things that could be planets as well. It's just that it's kind of far away from us. So I think what we'll want to do is either colonize this or this planet next so that we could build a drop off, then uh, do the gas uh, refill again, and then we could just telescope here. So there's a couple things we'll have to do. We have to go back here to build the research reactor, and then we have to find the magma planet still. Uh, end goal, I need to be able to build plastium. So we need to have plastium. We have the pinch of pepper nut plants for bracking via plant pulverizer. That goes into here. This feeds into the Brax Wax Gleaner, and we get Brax Wax. Uh, yeah, don't have a lot of water right now though, sadly. Let's have a uh, lot of this just go through. Just so that we can empty this out. But yeah, we got to do the printing pot objectives, two out of three of them. I guess I do need to establish several colonies. I haven't built a single mini pod yet. I don't mind it though. Oh, some of this was ice cold. Feels bad. Yeah, cold damage. I forgot about that. Some of this is too cold, boys. Too cold. 
Alright, so we just can't have this leave then. That's fine, that's fine. So we're going to do two out of three printing product objectives. We're going to open the tear. We're going to build the Great Monument. And then we're going to build Plastium. That's going to be all the goals that we have. It's not going to be too much. Very straightforward, to be honest. So this is refined metal. It's not bad. We have the volcano on the planet. So it's actually fine, right? As long as it's active. Yeah, we have five tons here. Should be good. Have another thing of steel. I mean, another thing of uh, metal, too, coming out. So, we would need... All the refined metal is technically here. We would need to bring coal and uranium and plastic. Okay. That's not bad. Alright, so a lot of the time, this is how I like to do it. 1,000 kilograms of plastic. I want probably five tons of, what do we have a lot of? We will do granite, it looks like. And then we have uranium. Uh, I think with our design, we are not going to need more than 100 kilograms. Oh, I don't have any enriched uranium. Oh, damn. Guys, might be time to visit these guys. They get the sweet, sweet enriched uranium. It might be time, boys. It might be time. Okay, so there's actually a strat for this. Believe it or not. And I'm going to use this. Oh, can I even reach that? I can't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm probably okay to bop one of these. Okay, and then I would probably want it through this way. Let's mine this open. Ah, uh, this gas pipeline. Kind of jank. I will probably want to move this with a regular gas pipeline, because it shouldn't matter. Through this way. And I'll just use the line. Use the power, everything else should be fine. And then we're gonna use this water drop as a lock. Very much a big meme. We're gonna mine this out, and then we're gonna mine this out. Gotta need that sweet, sweet seal too. Hmm, I should mine this out as well. Yeah, we should try to do a bottleneck here. And then this should be a door later on, or we put the doors here, which wouldn't really matter. All right, we're going to use the proper strat when doing this. Believe it or not, there is a proper strategy to dealing with the bees. Or a dev intended strategy. Such a thing actually exists. So we're going to actually do that route. All right, so checking out the other stuff. He is chilling. There's nothing here. He could actually come home. 
These guys are coming home already. These guys don't really have to worry about too much. They have food, they could drive. Alright, the only thing is probably this guy charged up. Let's go that way. Let's get some more data banks. We need to be able to research Great Monument anyways. Alright, so we're waiting for that. Speed this up. Alright, to the bees! To the bees. The bees! What's going on, Kate Kun? How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. And of course, hello, hello. Doing good. Been lurking and forgot to say hi. Yo, man, appreciate the lurks, Kate Kun. And of course, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good week. <laughs> Hope you've been having some good times. I apologize for not streaming. But, uh, I had to catch up on a lot of things that I've fallen behind on. Oh, this is made out of steel? Damn, we are not fucking around, dude. Big flex. Big flex. Alright, so if you guys didn't know, bees are susceptible to one thing, and one thing only, and that is CO2 gas. I have heard that is because of how bees interact in real life, and that if you guys are beekeepers, what they actually do is they uh, spray smoke at the beehives to calm down all the bees. And then that allows the beekeepers to safely go in and extract the honey. I believe that's how it works in real life. I may be wrong. But that was uh, what I've been told. So I don't know about you guys, man. Technically, you're also susceptible to temperatures above zero. Though that would also kill the hive. Yep. Uh, for the most part, though, yeah. I am... Uh, Gonna be doing a meme strat. I've been on the lurk for a bit, but I'm uh, hanging out for a little. What's good, man? Good rest of the uh, good rest after streamathon. Yeah, it was. I was so behind on everything, man, that I had to uh, catch up on the YouTube. But yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good. <laughs> it's good to be back to stream, man. Hundred percent. What you're telling me is that we're gonna smoke the monster out, dude, man. These are bees. They're not monsters. They're technically an insect. But yo, man, we gotta save the bees in order for us to save the world. And what are my dupes doing, dude? They're all slackers, man. Why is no one mining? What's happening over here? They're actually just sleeping, yep. Yeah? My guys are slackers right now. That's true. You can't be allergic. That's that's a hundred percent different. I had a surprise day off. Was on the clock for 30 minutes before I knew I was off today. <laughs> Wait, so you showed up to work and everything? They're like, yo, man, you're, you're not supposed to be here today. Someone beekeeping here? Uh, not that I know of. Don't know if there's any keepers in chat. Alright, this is going to be the dig that we're going to want. And I think we're going to want this tile, and then we're going to want this vent line. And then we're going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna do a mechanized airlock door here. We're gonna do a minimal automation just to open close. And then we will put a pneumatic door here for minor control. I work from home, so I log in, everyone's like, nobody says anything. I text my manager, like, yo, what's up? 
all of my meetings were canceled, but on my calendar, there wasn't a holiday listed. Dude, I would be scared. I'd be like, oh, f I got fired, fam, on my day off. I just came into work one day and shit, man. I got cleared out. I'd be scared, man, if I saw that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Log in. Oh, dude, there's nothing on my calendar. What's going on, dude? Oh, shit. How do you get fired on your day off? Dude, man, have you seen Friday, the movie? That's actually a quote from the movie Friday. It's funny as hell, man. Because that's one of the things like, yo, man, I got fired yesterday. It's like, yo, man, you were on a day off yesterday. How do you get fired on your day off? You didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Bombi, start driving, man. I mean, stop driving, start eating. You know I've seen Friday, man. You should have known the quote. Unless you were just saying, man. Unless you were you were saying the quote. How'd you get fired on your day off? <laughs> That's actually the quote. It's the American staple. No, it's the West Coast staple. I've I've recently found out that on the East Coast it is not as popular. Maybe west of the Mississippi. So, you know, central, midwest, and then, you know, proper west coast. But man, the east side, man, not a lot of people have seen it. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Oh, damn. Okay, you guys, you're on the East Coast and you've seen it. I see you. I see you. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. I, I've seen a lot of that, man. Friday was good. Friday was uh, good times. Can't complain. All right, this is ready? Almost. Construction, priority nine, and then we gotta mine this. And then we gotta start setting up our ladder set. And then I'ma start pre-pumping this. Wait, 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 wait. How come this pipe is blocked? How? There we go, nice. That's from Clerks. What's from Clerks? What did I say? Hold up. Oh, oh. Oh, he almost killed himself. Oh, Lord. That was mad scary. I think he would have fell down. Oh, that's that movie. No, dude. Dude. Don't don't mind that right now. It's so it's so scary, man. Alright, so we're gonna fill this up with CO2. And then we're gonna basically open this so that we can put the, the bees to sleep. Asked you over the left of lore. You know what's one thing from from Friday that I, I absolutely loved, and I I keep using it all the time. It's 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 the one. I recently finished Suits of My Wife. I haven't. I have heard that it's pretty good. I should pick it up. I haven't had time to really watch a lot of things recently though, so. Can't say that I've seen it. Though the one thing is when they... Do you remember the scene where Santa Claus... Uh, it's a guy dressed up as Santa Claus. And he's going, you know, house to house. But instead of giving presents, he was robbing people. Right? So, there was a scene where he's, he's going through a house. And... He goes through some of the clothing and jerseys. He's like, what the hell is this? Extra medium. <laughs> oh, man. That, that part was hilarious. What the hell is extra medium, dude? What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. I love that line, dude. Extra medium. Oh, man. I use that all the time. Like, oh, what size do you wear? Oh, I wear extra medium, baby. And then it's like, if they don't think about it in the moment, 
they'll actually go out and be like extra medium i must remember that wrong <laughs> they start doubting themselves man dude i just love that line yeah man i wore extra medium you know how it is his name is the grinch geek knows i don't remember him having a street name but maybe he did All right, we're waiting for the seal to. Oh, he's—they're just grabbing the uranium, starvation. Oh, we're out of food on this side again. Oh, we're out of pickled meal lice. What is this? Are we out of pickled meal lice? All right, take this out. Now we got to put it back. Allow manual use, no sweep only. We'll go to here. We will allow brainless. How bad is this? Oh, brainless is crying. Oh my god. We gotta give him some food. This guy's not having a good time. Alright, someone's doing this, right? Yeah, they're doing it. Current error. So we'll be fine. Seal 2, take over. Don't sting the dupes. Yes, pass out. Happy sleeping. That's all we're doing. Just happy sleeps. Happy sleeps. This bee's gonna die, dude. Alright, auto harvest. Let's go. I need a bin. Oh, sh oxygen mask. I don't need that. All right, we're going to use this one. This is going to be... Oh, man. What is enriched uranium? Refined metal? Manufactured? Miscellaneous? Uh, will someone do this job? It looks like they will. You bring such a chill time, man. Making me want to be productive right now. <laughs> It's always good to be productive, man. It's always good to be productive. Just, just happy you enjoy the vibes. Just happy you enjoy the streams. Bring out the gelato scoop. Oh, come on. What's up with the lag? What's up with the lag animation? There it is. One scoop of gelato. Two scoop of gelato. Three. Can I get an extra scoop? Nope. Okay, feels bad. Sweeter than honey, boys. Easy every time. Nice. Alright, so that's gonna be... This spin? Dude, what the hell is this? It's manufactured. Feels bad. Dragon Gawain, dude. You lost points if this was Jeopardy. All right, so the idea is CO2 protects us. We grab the enriched uranium. We don't really need that much. But I do want to get as many as we can. Wait, wait. We scooped out the entire contents already? Dude, and all the enriched uranium has already moved out? Are you serious? Dude, that's insane. They're not going to sting us. We got the seal too. He's going to fall asleep. Come on, man. Just fall asleep. There he is. Chilling with the homies. Dude, we have all the uranium here already. All right, boys, we're done. Uh, this guy's going to sleep till he dies. Everyone else, we'll let them free. Alright, so the CO2 is no longer going to be released here. We were just pumping from the CO2 from over here. And we should be good. Let's remove this. I think it would be interesting to make a rabble generator based on the radiation from sleeping bees. Ah... Uh... 
The thing about that, though, is that it doesn't last long, right? Five cycles. Not only that, they're mad fragile. So I feel like the biggest problem is your rad bolt generator getting hot. And then that kills the bees. <laughs> That's like the worst thing about that. It's like you have to be close with the rad bolt generator. But then if the rad bolt generator gets too hot, the bees die. I mean, it, it's, it's probably somewhat viable, but it's kind of tough to do. But yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. Okay, so we want to go to this planet. That's going to be our rocket on that side. This guy is going to be 100 kilograms. And what do we need here? Oh, we're probably going to switch this to Corrupt Fruit Preserve. Let's bring this down to 35. All right, so we're getting data banks. Uh, we're gonna send a rocket back out to here to get the reactor started. We could open this as soon as we can, so we wanna do that ASAP. Afterwards, we're gonna land, refuel, and then we're gonna go this way to colonize this, and then we're gonna immediately send another rocket to land and telescope. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So in both cases, I have to add the gas canister. Okay, that's fine. They would consume a ton of CO2. You can't predict where they would sleep. Yeah, not really practical. I just want to see it. Maybe just make them as a proof of concept sort of thing. And to deal with the temps, I was thinking of feeling CO2 geyser. It'd be nice and cold minus 50 or so, I think. It, it's, yeah, you could make something like that. It's just that... It wouldn't be worth the amount of work. But yeah, I see what you would do. If you know how to do the door closing, you could probably do a setup like this. And then basically the hive right here will spawn in beta. It would move out to here and then fall down. And then if you really want, you could do a one-sided setup like this. So that you could stack bees like that. So you have a hive here, hive here, and the bees stack in the same spot. And then you would try to capture them in one tile. That would probably be the play. And then you would probably try to do a rad bolt generator on the corner. Like, yeah, it's viable. You could probably do something like this. But it's that's a lot of work. Because of how fragile the bees are, man, it's tough. It's just that you're going to have, like, your bees walking, and, oh, he's dead. Ah, shit. That kind of sucks. But, yeah, working with bees is just tough overall. Okay, bathroom water, oxygen suits. We have the materials. We just got to get the food. Uh... I kind of want to move the metal out. I'm going to sweep this. Hopefully someone picks it up. Came back while you were mentioning bees. I thought you were talking about IRL. Oh, I was. I was. I was talking about how bees IRL would... So beekeepers IRL, I was talking about this. That the devs in this game took the bees mechanic from IRL. Because beekeepers would come in with smoke guns and they would spray the hive. And apparently it calms down the bees. You could actually start picking up the bees by the handful. Because I saw the beekeeper do that. They would go into the bees and they'd be just chilling. And you could literally pick them up by the handful and they would just chill. And you just put them back down. And then otherwise they would take out the panels of honey that way. <laughs> and then they say that's what they do. That's how they make, you know, honey harvesting easy. I think they, like, they burn, I think it was cotton. I forgot what it was. But they just had some stuff, burn it, shoot it through a gun. Bees pass out. Take the honey, and then that was it. I was like, wow. Still gotta wear the beekeeper armor, though. 
So that's what I was mentioning, because that's how the bees are supposed to be handled in this game. You're supposed to add in CO2 gas, flood it in, and then the bees sleep as a result. And then when you do that, you could go in safely and just scoop out the uranium. But yeah, that was what I was uh, alluding to, basically. I think the smoke blocks the pheromones they communicate with. Oh, so they lose hive mind connection? Damn, that sucks. That kind of that kind of sounds like uh, you have a bunch of drones and they lose signal to the main control and they all just kind of just fall down. It kind of does feel like that, yeah. Oh, that's pretty legit, yeah. I've been getting into bee content lately. My wife and I are consider keeping bees once the kiddo gets a little bit older. Ooh, hey man, if you guys do that, that's amazing. But I have heard that uh, if you do that, you got to be careful, man. Have a lot of space. Because it's like, I heard that people that do that, if you, they don't have a lot of space, do it in like their backyard. It's kind of like their neighbors get mad. Like, dude, fucking bees everywhere, man. And they get scared. <laughs> so it's like, hopefully you guys have a lot of space for that. A lot of the videos I see, they kind of have like their own space. And it's like, I, I, I guess you would call it acres of land. There's like a lot of land. And there's not really a lot of like intrusive stuff. Not a lot of people living in that area. The beekeeping farms at least. The smoke actually masks the bees' alarm pheromones. Smoke causes bees to prepare to leave their hive because they believe it's on fire. And they begin to eat lots of honey, thinking they need energy to find a new home. And then after they eat the honey, they're not able to sting because their abdomens are full. Oh, interesting. Pretty much. I see you guys. I see you guys. But yeah, I saw that was a while ago. I saw some other stuff too about bees that was kind of weird. There was the one where they had, uh, there was a bee farm next to an M&M factory. And what happened was that the bees would go over to the M&M factory somehow they would consume the dye that they would use to kind of sugarcoat the m &Ms. so you know it's chocolate it's one color but the m ms are different color so they would have like the sugarcoat dyes right i guess somehow that got opened because they would drink that instead of like flower nectar i guess and the honey in turn dyed that color and at the beginning, they didn't know why that was happening. And then they found out that it was because of the nearby M&M factory that was causing the problems. That's pretty cool. The only thing is that it's like, how safe is Donnie? Because <laughs> it's like, the dyes kind of just went through the honey's body, you know? Is that safe to consume? I don't know how that works. But I remember reading about that happening. We have a sizable yard out back and we're doing a bunch of uh, research first because I don't want to pay all the money. And then my queen doesn't take it and lose it all. Yep. Rainbow honey sounds cool. I wonder if it will taste like normal honey. I think it tastes a little bit different. I think for that case, I remember them saying that it was normal honey. Otherwise, you know, it's just blue. Is the only really difference. Like the dye, they didn't really taste anything. Tasted kind of like normal honey. But for the most part, it's like, that was an isolated incident though. Dude, the, the bee probably found like, dude, guys. Fuck them flowers. I found a bucket of nectar. <laughs> That's probably what happened, man, realistically. Because it's not a flower that was like, there's no shot. The m, m factory puts like a plastic flower out tied to the sugar dye, you know, for, you know, just things to absorb. They probably had like a spill somewhere. And they're like, dude, I found a bucket of honey. I mean, a bucket of nectar, dude. When I was really young, there was a uh, purple ketchup. Oh, dude. It's, I don't know, man. They, they do a lot of weird stuff with that. Hey, Timo! coming in oh well, dude i blocked the cam i apologize timo coming in with three months thank you so much for the three months of support enjoy the emote the 20 days and reviewing don't forget that legit sub bad we appreciate the support thank you so much i see you over there timo how are you 
Dude, I haven't said that in a while. It feels good. Susumu coming in as well with the tier 1. 14 months of support. Thank you so much, Susumu. I see you guys over there. Dude, what is going on? Everyone's subbing right now. Thank you for the loves. I hear all the sounds. And we have a hype train. I think someone has subbed with a prime. But uh, the subs with primes, you have to hit the refresh button. So that you get the share button to pop down properly. I still don't know why that's not fixed yet. But if you don't click that, the Twitch website does not share it. It's very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I think I heard a prime at the very end. Appreciate that, whoever that was. Heinz was doing a bunch of stuff to make catch up more fun. I saw that. I don't like that, man. Like, I don't really care for it. And I actually don't think that's good. Because I don't like the idea of having dyed ketchup. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. None of us need that. None of us need that. Can't be having the dyed ketchup stuff. So it's like, yeah, I didn't really care for it. I remember it happening, but it was like, I remember there was the pink sauce. There was uh, all the different sauces and that the ketchup looked a different color and all that. It was weird. It was weird. Alright, we're going to wait for the cars to come back. He's about to make it home. Old operational. This guy is 0.8. I'm allergic to red, red food dye, actually. <laughs> I'm actually allergic to red food dye myself. So yeah, that stuff sucks, man. What is good? How are you, Sean? Welcome on in. Nice to see you over there. Hello, hello. We're back, babies. Back to the streams after a little bit of a break. But how are you, Sean? Welcome on in. It'd be cool for, like, a novelty, but, like, after that, nah. Good old red ketchup just feels right. It feels right. I just don't want it to be dyed. It just feels unnecessary that we would have to consume dye. Hello, all. What's going on, Joe Baker boy? I see you over there. Welcome on in. How are you? We're doing a lot of space exploration today. If you guys are just tuned in, we just found the tear. And we're setting up to go back to the frozen planet. Where we kind of have our iron volcano tamer. And our steam rocket refill. And we're going to set up a reactor. That's going to be what we're getting ready to do. And then we're looking for the magma planet next. Outside of that, we're trying to wrap up the run. We'll probably have two or three more streams of this. So that we hit all the goals that we set for ourselves. It's home sweet home, great escape, and handle all that. You're peachy, good to hear, good to hear. But yeah, that's what we're up to right now. Just doing some space stuff with the steam rockets. So this is going to be the rocket we'll send to uh, build the stuff. This is our telescope rocket. I probably want to send this somewhere else. We have to wait for this guy to come home. And then no one's building anything. I think we'll send G. Yeah, we'll send G in unfocused. There we go. We're going to go here. Oh, there's no rocket engine fuel. Okay, so we'll do that right now. 37 kilograms. Steam is actually pretty hot. We could roll out with this. This needs to disconnect. And then we're connecting to here. Nice. Not bad, not bad. So this needs to fill up. It is at zero. And then after that, we'll set the reactor up. We're waiting for this guy to land still. How is this guy with the databanks? Handling his business. 58. Doing great. Doing good, doing good. So we just rob the bees of the uranium. We just bop these guys. I should probably try to save them. We're going to put a door here. Just so that the heat transfer is going to be purely through the CO2. And then that way, if the temperature spikes up, it wouldn't be that bad. It'll still stay negative. <laughs> We're just going to have to keep the door there. CO2 heat transfer is really low, so shouldn't have to worry too much. Did I ever get the forge? 
I never got the forge. I don't have water. Of all things. I didn't have water for research. Oh my god. Alright, let me do the other research really quick while we can. Maxed out rads. Not only that, we got the data banks we gotta go through. Alright, this has water now, hopefully. No, we're waiting for it. There we go. Get the five tons of water back. Get the briar seeds. So far, so good. Water's still negative degrees. It's fine. All right, and we are at close to being done. All right, so this doesn't have to make a round trip. Six out of nine tiles, that's fine. This is interior. We have the food. We have the rad bolt pills. We have the materials, plastic, minerals, and rich uranium. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So this guy is going to go crew launch. This guy is going to land. Oh, that's the wrong spot, dude. Every freaking time. All right, we're going to have to use this line again. This is ready. All right. So we want to send this one home. It's not in a good spot, though. That's the problem. Uh, all right, we'll just have to do this. Build out the ladders. We have a refueling dock, so it's not as bad. Uh, we do need to get some new suits in here. Fill up the rad bolt, fill up the food. And then this is going to be the first one we're going to want to launch. And this is going to go to this planet. All right, we're going to go here. Upside down is on. We might as well do this now. Before I forget, we're going to build a mini pod. Just right next to the suits. And area complete. All right, so this is completely scanned on the side. We could cut this down so we don't have to worry about overload. This side is chill then. We don't need this anymore. If we're not going to go to the top of the map. So they're just going to be here bringing back the items. Which is not bad. If they're not doing anything, we'll bring back all the seeds. Just to keep them busy. Let's build this out. We are waiting for lead. Do we have lead? Oh, we do. All right, we're fine. That's not that bad. All right, so this is flying, chilling. This is my scanning rocket. Okay, so on this rocket, I need to add a cargo tank above this. Oh, I can't. It's because of the ladders. Okay, it's going to be this one. Food has decay, that's fine. There we go. I still can't build this, okay. Alright, let's get rid of this. It's probably this tile that's bopping this, because we have to add three. That's what I'm thinking. Get the gas cargo on that afterwards. This is cooling down, so I should do this. Because I need to fill this up. Got to do it now anyways. I got to ground this before they mess around. Steam volume is dropping though. 
96. We're going to have to fill this up over here. Nice. And then over here, gas cargo. Nice. All right, so now this could self-refill. We're going to do the same thing here. Fill up the top two. Auto on that. Toilet water. Oh, this is empty. Okay. So we could probably split that. Let's just do a full reset. Toilet water needs to go here. Oh. Back in wrong spot. Gonna have to build it there. Gonna have to refill the lead. And then after we're done with that, we should be good. We have a lot of preserves. Half a million. And then we just gotta... Oh, they're already filled up. 25... 25. Okay, so the only thing we need here then is an extra suit and maybe some rat pills. That's about it. After we do that, we'll go over to the west side of the star map and try to see what we got. Rad G not allowed to eat the food. Oh, that's what it was. Eat the food, y'all. My man's over here is running out of power soon, so let's land. Let's land. Oh, I can't land yet. <laughs> this is the spot where I want to land. All right, deliver the lead, boys. The steam is filled. Okay, we got to cut the line. Uh, let's go into here then. Let's get some steam here as well. Steam is delivering to here first. It's not bad, not bad. If I uncheck this, it goes to here, right? There we go. And then this is still filled with steam. We didn't hit empty storage, should be fine. What's going on, Golit? How are you? I see you over there. Welcome on in, welcome on in. 150, this needs to be charged. Okay, so this is ready. I'm good, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. It's good to be back, man. It is good to be back. What's happening? There we go. So we just gotta do this. And we'll be ready to do, uh, do the launch. We do have extra suits, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. Halfway done. One, two. Alright, so this is going to here. Oh, I don't even need the cargo. I could just do a round trip. That's actually nice. Mocha and Bombi again. Nice, nice. That's fine. Okay, so this guy is going to be ready. They're chilling. This is at 87. Launch. Steam goes to here instead. We're still filling this up. And then this is going to launch afterwards. So after this goes and lands and does its thing, this guy is able to come back home now. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. So this needs to charge its battery. Alright, this guy is chilling now. Still pumping out on this side. Ooh, we're running out of steam. So how much is in here? 40 kilograms. 
All right, we gotta make some more steam. All right, first things first, we're gonna add all the water to the inside. After that, we'll start splitting the line to generate steam from heating up the aqua tuner. All right, so 2.8, three cycles. That's fine. Right, cooling it down. We'll probably get a pool of water at the bottom. Yep, all right. So from this point, we'll connect this. We'll do a reset. And then I probably just wanna dedicate it to the bottom because we have a lot of water. Even though we have steam, I think we need to just run this for a while. Got the angry pokey shells. Did all the mops everywhere, should be fine. Oh, the preserves and the food right there. Not getting eaten, not getting cooked. All right, the data banks are done, nice. So it's only Radbold research that we have left. Wow. Uh, I know I would have to make a lot of steel. Let's get ready for that. So let's look at the steel we need. I have no steel. Holy crap. Okay. This would probably be fine then. We're going to do a meme strat. Love the meme strats. Alright, so this filled up. And this is 12 degrees. Which is not bad. A lot of the reservoirs, though, have a lot colder liquid. So we're going to make it so that only through the meta refinery after smelting does this actually release the water. And then this is no longer active right now, which is the downside. So we're not going to have a lot. So we got to kind of, you know, conserve. Yeah, it should be all right. All right, so I kind of want to do this again. Just to go through the water. And we're just going to refill this back up. The occasional bubble of salt water is fine. We just need to create some space. <laughs> That's kind of what we're just doing right now. We need to create space. So this water could exit. There we go. Uh, make it forever. That's probably not smart. Let's do 99. We need 20 tons. So we're going to need a lot of steel in order to make what we want to make. We don't need any more duplicate labor power. That should be all fine. And this is good, right? Above 55 brine. Brine and salt water are here now. As long as we have enough brine, though, I think we'll be okay. Dude, we have hot salt water and then cold water here. And then this is 60 degrees. This is not bad.
So what we could try to do is deconstruct the brine from the reservoir that's negative degrees. That should be what I do. Let's do it like this. Let this empty out and then we'll fill only the, the one in the back. It's going to stop at the... Yep. I want to let this empty out if I can. This reservoir. Well, it's positive, so I shouldn't really be that mad. And then we're going to cut this here. So now the water has a place to empty out into. And then we're going through the cold water instead. That's actually what I want to do. We want to add cold water here so it could warm up. Problems with having cold water, man. It happens sometimes. Gotta make the steel, though. Alright, so how is everything? We are on the planet. Nice. And we're already working on this. Nice. That's actually what we need to do. So this is actually a setup for the rad bolts for the uh, design we want to do. The only thing we have to do is manually move the suits. This guy's name is Radji. This guy's name is Unfocused. Nice. Alright, so we're going to give him new suits. Deliver suits, unground this so they could eat and use the restroom. And then everything should be good for them. So this is going to be the design we want. The repairs are fine. I don't think it really matters too much. Oh, I didn't bring the coal. Ah, crap. That's fine. Not only do we need coal, we need water. I forgot about the water as well. Yeah, we're going to have to bring all that back. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So... We're going to do a meme strat here. This is six tiles. We're going to do 12. So two, four, six. We're going to do the tiles above that. Oh, we don't have any metal, huh? Dude, you, you need to use metal ore for this. That's such a meme. Okay. We're going to make mesh tile out of wolframite. It's gonna be like that okay and then we have to make this here and then the design is like this Is gonna be like that. Oh, this sweeper sucks. Can I move that a little bit better? We know it's that tile. So we would want that. I guess we could do this strat. Okay. Okay, that's going to be like that. You 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 deconstructed your hospital because no one was using it, and then immediately a dupe runs into the steam room? Yo. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. We do believe that sometimes, the dupes, man. If you need a reason for some, the dupes will give you one. <laughs> if you need a reason for some, the dupes will give you one. So it's one, two, three, right? Most likely how we're going to want to do this. What's the melting point of granite? 668. That's not that good. 
I need a higher melting point item. 926. Dude, dude, there's no obsidian here? Osh, dude. Really? <laughs> oh man. I don't want to actually run a coolant loop. Alright, we gotta do this. We gotta mine this out. We gotta build the ladder. We gotta do the sweep design, which isn't bad. And then... We need to do the water pipes. That's another thing. So... I will do this. I hate that I have to do this. This is likely something we'll need as well. Water goes out to here. This goes out to the reactor. We need to build out the bottom. And then there is a radiation joint plate that we need. This is going to be where all the rad shots are going to be going. This is probably a good tile for it. I will want to mine this out though. So it's going to go down here, water. Water's on next to the ladder, okay. Should be able to reach everything there. Outside of that, we need a pipeline on this side. Sleeping in the radiation. Classic dupes. Classic dupes. We gotta put some beds inside, man. Looks like the... Building is jammed. Still emptying out the salt water. And it's empty. Nice. So then we're going to cut this pipeline now. And then we're going to do that. Nice. Hold some more uh, hot water. And then more cold water comes out. 1,400 kilograms though, man. The brine stacking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait, that's a lot, though. 1,400? <laughs> Am I gonna get pressure damage, man? You better not hit me with that. This better not be infinite pressure. <laughs> like, what's going on here, man? How come the wad is not moving up? Alright, man. Just because I don't trust this. Oh, it's because the water type is, is not the same here. Uh, this is salt water. Alright, we're just going to change out the water again. Just because the water was acting weird. The pressure values are a little bit too high for me. And of course, we'll just empty out more water as a result. Should be fine. Water's getting pumped down, it's getting desalinated, everything should be okay. Okay, this is 0.4 cycles, not bad. How are we with this guy? This is... Medicine. Radbolt pills. We're still making them, right? Yes, okay. The engine... Okay, so we were waiting for the steam. It's at 115. We got to do this again. We need a little bit hotter steam. We're just going to run that a couple times. And how are we back over here? Okay, and of course the biggest thing is going to be the power cables. 
So chances are we're going to be using this. And then after everything is built, I think we're going to have to uh, remove the ladders. These dupes, dude. I don't want to put a bed in here. Messes up the mess hall, but I guess we might have to. Feels bad. Alright, we'll let them hang out for a second. We are 0. 0.2 cycles away. It's not bad. And the only thing we're missing here is hot steam. It's a little bit hotter, but not by a lot. Is this messed up? Oh, it has to be below. I've been I've been letting out hot salt water. That's why. Oh man. <laughs> I was wondering what's going on. Oh man, it feels bad. Alright, so it should be fine to heat this up properly now. Gotta make some hot steam. Gotta loop the water around a couple times. Not bad. Are we there? We are there. Alright, it's time, boys. Another colonization. Alright, so this is... Oh, man. Crash satellite. We have a uranium crust. Well, okay. We gotta do what we gotta do. So it looks like this is not bad. That's wide enough for a rocket platform. It looks like wherever we go, though, it's just pretty bad. So there's sedimentary rock here and here. So I'm actually not too worried. So let's set this up. We gotta go into the interior. We gotta get new suits out. We gotta unequip the suits. We gotta give it to Mocha and Bombi. One of them using the Rad Bolt pills. That's the one that needs to go out first. All right, Mocha is going to land. Come on, Mocha. All right, second one is going to be Bombi. Come on, Bombi. There it is. Got to deconstruct. Auto save lag. There we go. Rocket platform. And we're good. All right. So this is. This is the wide planet, right? This is wider than it is deep, I believe. Frozen forest. So it's a cold map. Uh, I remember this map typically having a lot of metal on it for no reason. But with the, uh, with the crust like this, it makes me think otherwise. Metallic caves. Radiation is about half what we have back at home. That's not bad. Alright, so back home here. We need to change this. And the reason why is because... Yeah, this is at 43. Alright, we're just going to be filling up the uh, rocket engine. Once we do that, we're leaving. Alright, so who's the crew on here? It's Avo and no one else. Okay, that's fine. Alright, we'll let him do its thing. We're here. We're landing. Dude, already goes inside before it even lands. My dupes are not messing around. All 
All right. So they're fine. We're gonna go home. Uh, hmm. Let me build this really quick. <laughs> Wouldn't it be bad. And then we're back to here. That's way more than enough steam. Let's have the rest go into here. Crew change, we're going to here, five tiles. We already have steam and all that extra, can't complain. Interior, we have the food and rads. So, launch. We are on this side, this got done. Oh, we need to activate this. I forgot about the activation. You gotta hit the on and off button a couple times. Nice. Let's get the free data bank. Crew, let's go home. All right, good stuff. Colonized immediately. And then we're sending another rocket too to start scanning. Back at home, what do we got? Aluminum metal ore. And how are we with the building? How did we get pee water here? Dude, who the hell peed on the generators? Goddamn. Alright, it is what it is. My dupes, man. Keep, keep peeing everywhere. 38 degrees. Aqua 200 is doing its best. Otherwise, though, everything's okay. Let's go back inside to the uh, rocket module then. Okay. This is going to go to unfocused. Rad G needs a new suit. Oh, man. Yeah, the suits are worn out. Ooh, all the suits are worn out. Oh, that's tough. That means we cannot actually swap suits anymore. That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, we're just going to do as much as we can, and then we'll leave, and then we'll have to come back, because we are missing coal and water still. There is a little bit I want to build first before all of that, though, so let's do that setup first. I want to do the joint plate over here. It makes sense to do it on that tile as well. The snow is going to fall down, so I'll do that first. What was that? And you just fall asleep. What was that? How'd you get popped to your drums? Ah, oh, man, that's stress. Well, it is what it is. Uh, CO2 rocket. We don't need data banks anymore, though, right? Yeah, we're just going for the uh, other stuff. Hmm. Getting data banks wouldn't be bad, though, if I want some other tech, like the cartographer. Diamond press, geotune. Hmm. It should be all right. Probably don't need any more. Dude, look at the grub grubs, man. Look at the grub grubs just climbing up and down. They're constantly just climbing up and down. There's so much space for them, yet they're always in the middle. Alright, back to here. Still sleeping, huh? Feels bad. I guess we will start doing the mini pods. I forgot I have to activate this. That's going to be three. We're going to go to here four. Struggling with this. I just want to build the plastic joint plate here. 
And ideally, I kind of want to use Obsidian for this. I got to remember to bring it back. The power is on the other side. Okay. That's likely how that's going to be set up. Lock the door. Probably want the door to be built too. Nice sleeping spot, my dude. Why is this even warm? It shouldn't be warm. What the? Oh, the water. Oh, wow. Warm pipes, man. I guess the pipes are warm. How come nobody wants to do this job? Alright, so the other person is unfocused, right? Uh, digging, building. Of course, he's asleep. What a guy. Oh, my cat's awake. Little mamba. I hear you, babies. Over here, over here. Ah, uh, yes. And then we wanted the joint plate here. Let's go. Not bad. Alright, so the smart move would be to just put a manual airlock here. Doors built and locked. Gotta build this door and then these two tiles. And then technically I want to mine this out. And then this inside shouldn't matter. Alright. So the plastic's done. I could move the uranium out into the bin. I probably should. Mamba, I hear you, baby. I hear you. I know, I know. Mamba wants his attention. Not yet, babies. Not yet, not yet. We're almost done with the streams. But I'm sorry, babies. Not yet, not yet. Alright, so we're gonna need water pump out from the inside. We could also come back with a liquid storage rocket. Which wouldn't be that bad. We could probably make multiple trips to come back. Not because we need the time for it, but because pumping the water is going to take forever. So we could do like a half trip. Bring maybe a couple tons, not five, ten tons. And then while it's unloading, we finish building everything. That could be how we do that. This is same tiles. Shouldn't be uh, too much longer. We could also fly back to here to do another mini pod, which is not too bad. Okay, so these guys, I do need to activate this. All right, reservoirs are built. A lot of the pipelines are done. Got to get the power wires. And then we got to get a rad bolt generators. So we're going to want all of them here. And then we're going to need to reflect them over here. And it's going to shoot straight down. So they all shoot down, and then shoot down, and then it shoots out to here. And then we're trying to charge this up. So the thing with this is that this is... I believe 120,000 rad bolts generated for this to fully charge it stores a thousand but it's consuming the rad bolt charge in the storage 
at a fixed rate. So you keep it at a thousand or even above it. Wait, unpermitted food type? Oh, they're not allowed to eat the grub for preserves. Yo, my bad. Yeah, everyone's allowed to eat this. You guys are cool. Alright, we're just gonna be building out the metal. We could send them back home, but I want to activate this first. Everyone's not doing it. Feels bad. Okay, so once we do that, we got the tear. I'm hoping this is the magma planet. There's there's a good chance this could be it as well. So what asteroids do we have left? Water, magma, shovels. So we have three potential planets, and we have four potential planet locations. Uh, frozen forest, metal swamp. Upside down magma, radioactive ocean, badlands, tree resin, gassy moo ice, water regolith magma, potentially. Yeah, and then that would be our last couple of planets. That's not bad. Now let's continue with this, build this out, get this built. So we're going to do a auto sweep to feed into the reactor. And then we have to have water for the reactor, of course. So we're just going to move some water here. I hope this is enough. I think what we might do is fill this up and have some water on here. And chill out while it's charging. Okay, can someone actually activate this? What are you guys doing? There we go. Nice. This needs to go down, direction south. All right, we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. Oh. <laughs> My cat got his claw stuck inside my chair, and he was struggling to pull it out, little babies. Colony is doing good though, man. Radio Mamba, looking healthy. Okay, so the other rockets are on its way. Oh, is it already there? Damn, we're here already. So he's just telescoping then, right? We didn't give him another suit. Oh, that's unfortunate. But he can telescope, so he's chilling there for a while. I think the only thing we have to make sure is that this is no longer grounded, so that he could use everything here. <laughs> Toilet, food, sleep. We'll let him hang out there. I forgot to give him extra suits, though. I kind of feel bad about that. Hopefully we find out what that is from here, though. I, I need the rocket in order to uh, land, build the platform again, because we're going to have to do that. So we'll probably keep that guy. We could also send it back out. Don't need to, though. Are we done? Oh, we're still not done. Okay. We will do the water research for now. Because this is going to have to charge anyways. Okay. Dude, we fill that up. Damn. Yeah, we fill that up. Damn. That's a lot of water. I mean, as long as it works. Hey, bro. What's going on, Freight? How are you? I see you over there. What's good, man? I probably could cut this and feed this out to the left side now. Alright, and I probably want to do the same thing here. And then we just want to fill up the reservoir. Nice, nice. How are you, Mocha? Welcome in, welcome in. 
I see you guys over there. How you guys doing? How was the Mondays? Hopefully you guys had a nice weekend. Well, we're back on the Radio Mamba, and we found some of the wind conditions. We found the tear. We are setting up a reactor for that at the moment, and we're looking for the magma planet so we can get Neobium. Because once we have Neobium, we can make Plastium, and then that is going to be the wind condition. It's going to be nice. Oh, you play some Don't Starve together? How was that? Uh, hopefully you had fun. Because that's one of the things about Don't Starve Together, is that if it's your first time playing, you're going to be worried about not becoming dead weight and just surviving. Yeah, we died a lot. Yep. That's to be expected. <laughs> so were you guys all new players? If you guys were all new players, that is going to happen, guaranteed. If you guys had some experienced players, though, that would have been nice. DST is one of those... Um, for lack of better words, it's a cute little game, but it's a little bit brutal. Oh, we have one pro that was doing his own stuff? Yeah, see, the thing with that is that you can have a pro player, but if they can't help you, there's no point. Like, they could do their own thing and set, set up a nice space for you guys, but it's like, it's tough, man. Don't Starve is a, it's a tough game. Because it's like, if you're new, you're going to die unless someone is babysitting you. Like, there's no way around it. You, you have to get babysitted, or you just lose. That's kind of the downside about that. Now, the thing with that, though, is that once you do understand core parts of the game, it's really nice to play. And then after that, it's just kind of understanding combat. Combat's a little bit weird in that game. It's hard to wrap your head around until you understand it. But it wasn't too bad, because I've watched you and others play it, so we fought the winner boss. Wasn't too bad. Nice, nice. Yo, man, you guys made it through. Are you guys still in winner? Hopefully, that's the first test, man. Surviving winter time. Actually, the first test the game puts you through. Before, that's really just... Oh, halfway to summer. Are you guys ready for that? Summer is the real test. The first year is interesting. Fall season is learning to play the game. Winter season is the first real challenge. Uh, springtime is just annoying, but you would use spring to kind of lead into summer. Summer is kind of kind of like a test. And then after that, you see a proper fall season with the actual boss which is actually not that bad but yeah winter and summer man the big seasons i would say that winter time is actually not that bad once you get used to it also depends on which character you're playing i've seen that it was brutal yeah it is tough man if you haven't learned about fires yet you will <laughs> And then you got the ant lion that's making everything mad annoying. That's another part about that too. The ant lion boss. He is annoying, man. He leaves little sinkholes for you that kind of like fall into. <clears throat> that stuff is not fun. You saw us fight the ant lion. The ant lion fight's not bad. But dealing with the uh, base mechanic that he gives you really sucks. Well, I guess it's not that bad. But it's like, if you don't know about it, dude, it could ruin a base. But yo, hopefully you had fun though, Mocha. Would you be playing more DSTs in the future? DST is a fun time. And there's also uh, other modes as well. That's also pretty great. Yeah, combat is going to be tough. With people, it was fun, but alone, I admit, I was a bit bored. Yeah. Alone, you have to have the personality that's... You have to have the personality that kind of likes to explore. 
in a lot of games, I feel like you explore because it's part of the game. But in Don't Starve, you have to like to explore. I don't know if that makes sense. It's, it's like in Don't Starve, you explore to see the new things, to see the things that you have at your dispersal. Because interacting with something for the first time could could either open up the options or you know just be a dead end whereas in a lot of the other video games you have to explore as a means to beat the game whereas in don't starve it's you could ignore like a lot of the things and just kind of have your own little <laughs> corner be safe in what you're comfortable with and you could still beat the game like that it's just a lot slower and it's one of those things where if you do explore, if you do kind of mad scientists, the game rewards you by having you kind of like progress a little bit faster, having knowledge of a certain recipe. But if you don't like to explore, you could very quickly just build a safe base and then just get bored with, you know, after you're done building your base. Because once you're safe, once you're sound, you kind of don't have a reason to leave. And if you don't have a reason to leave, you don't want to explore. The game's kind of over for you. That's the only kind of like downside I have with DST. It feels like everything is too optional. I, at the same time, it's like I can see how that being the good thing is uh, with Don't Starve is. I was exploring a lot, but I felt like others preferred the safer base. Oh. I could see that if you're a new player, especially. <laughs> Because everything in Don't Starve is trying to kill you. <laughs> whether it's the weather, whether it's the mobs, whether it's the hunger meter. Everything's trying to, everything's out to get you, man. I guess that's what makes it brutal. You can lose in so many different ways. But I would highly recommend some of the other mods. It's really nice. Another thing about DST is that you got server-side mods, so that you don't have to download anything, you just join a server and you have a modded gameplay, which is kind of nice. You need X thing to make a raincoat, Don getting the material. Yep, and then the pro player happens to have it in their inventory every time. But that's literally the difference between a pro DST player and a noob. The pro always happens to have the materials they need for whatever it is they need. And that's where you find out that it's it's not a coincidence. <laughs> They're actually like doing inventory management and then trying to kind of like, you know, make sure they have X material because they know it's important. And then when they need it, they always happen to have it. How are we over here? Oh, it's almost done. Uh, we could recharge right now because we haven't yet. Yeah, let's go for it. Got to recharge a little bit of the rocket fuel. How far do we have to go? We are six out of three. We're at 3.8. That's not bad. Oh, oh, oh. Don't release. Oh, this is not connected. There we go. There we go. Oh, maybe you know the item drops we get from watching Twitch. If they break, is there a way to get them back? So the item drops that you get from watching Twitch, they're not actual items. They're cosmetic skins. So if you recraft the item, you could get it back. The thing is, is that a lot of the times you get the default skin. And to bring it back, you need a special item that basically goes through the cosmetic items that you have. So there is a brush tool. I forget the name of the brush, but it could basically convert the items into a different skin of the same item type. And I think that's what you're looking for because the items don't break because they technically aren't a individual item. They're just a cosmetic skin like an Oni, how you could, you know, use the beds and things on everything. It's the same thing at Don't Starve. You make the item first, but then instead of having like a catalog list like this, right? 
you don't get that. Instead, you need an item to transform it. I think anyone could make it. It's some sort of like clean sweep. Yeah, it was just a skin. It's just a skin. I think the item is called like clean sweep brush or something like that. I might be wrong though. But yeah, there's an item you would use and then it just applies the skin. The nice ones though are the uh, pet skins. Those are pretty cool. There is a puff and I think a shine bug. Oh, they don't have a shine bug, I don't think. They have a puff skin for one of the pets you could get in Don't Starve. <laughs> and it follows you around. It's pretty nice. Alright, so over on this planet, we did a good amount of work. But I think we're going to come back. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We are at 6 out of 6 and we're good. So let's go in crew, change, we're going home. Let's wait for all the steam to come in. And then we're going home, boys. It's technically not ready, though. We're going to come back with some coal and some obsidian. And this is going to be charged. This is on. Good stuff. All right. Let's go. Let's go. What's happening, man? There we go. So we're still over here. Is he not able to scan because of the whole breath? It might be. I should have gave him an extra suit. But because he doesn't have one, though, I don't think we get the scanning done in time. He's constantly trying to eat. Constantly trying to sleep. Alright, so I think we do need to give him an extra suit. As much as I want to scan this, he's having his troubles. Ah. Uh... I kind of want to scan it now, though. So the problem is... I need another suit. Always oh, scanning that tile of all tiles. And he got it. Okay, so it's these four. I guess we can keep them here. It's just gonna take some time, but he'll, he'll he'll actually be able to handle it. Food's gonna last. He'll be fine. Just kind of a struggle. Just kind of a struggle. All right. Let's kill some more hatches. I mean, evolve some hatches. There's a puff. Well, we're just going to have to take out the puff, to be honest. The puff's got to go. It feels bad. The puff's got to go. The flying mobs, man. Not the business. A little bit of flooding. We know where that is. Okay. We're on the way back. Not bad. These four. Did you get your new beds? I got one. I was only able to afford one bed skin. And I think I have about 1,000 filaments left after everything. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm broke, fam. We need some more filaments. We, we need some more items for that, man. Real talk. We need some of that. Alright, if we could get this scan, that'd be nice. This rocket can't really do much. I guess we could go to here just because. Because we would want to use that as a base for the top right anyways. So, this does have enough on the rocket engine. Okay. 
So we'll just do it like this. And then after we're done with that, we'll do another launch. Sleeweed grain keeps rotting, but it's fine. Hopefully we're still moving back the items. Sandstone stand, all the seeds. We're sending oxygen to the side, right? Yep. And new printables. Oh, it's a sluglet. Yep, not taking that. He's going to eat the rest of my metals. Not a fan of the slugs. Not a fan, not a fan. Those guys, man. I'm already low on metal, man. It's going to be so much of a problem. Alright, three more tiles. I kind of want to see how he scans this one. Daily smiles. Can we get some happy faces in chat? Can we get some happy emotes, man? Can we get some smiles? People of chat, I see you over there. Can we get some good vibes, man? <coughs> Shout out to you guys in chat for tuning in today. Thank you guys for watching. And right now, we're just doing a lot of the space stuff right now. Other Bob, shall I see you over there? Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the good vibes, man. Mocha coming in with the Mamba Yays. Let's go, let's go. Appreciate that as well. Thank you guys, thank you guys. If you guys didn't know, exclamation point hair. That's going to be the hair dye poll if you guys are not familiar with that. Taking a poll, you guys. Make sure you guys vote. If not, when we do the hair dye stream, you guys, man, you guys had a chance. That's all I got to say. This is the closest I've got. Dude, you got my emotes, dude. What do you mean? You got my emotes. I know my emotes have smiles. I see you over there, Mocha. I see you over there. This guy, Gawain, feels bad. Nah, it's three tiles. That's not bad. And we have the suits. Everything is here. All right, we're good. Mocha Bombi crew. And to the planet. I can't do pinky, guys. Can't do it. Can't do it. Maybe in the future. That's right now, though. I don't think I could do the pink color. Oh, oh, obsolete space station module. That's jank, boys. That is not what we needed. Well, either way, we probably want to scan that next time. And from here, we are going to want to go home. This guy's going home, boys. Alright, we'll give him some extra suits for scanning next time. You voted silver. Nice, nice. Appreciate that, appreciate that. I've never dyed my hair before. So that's going to be an experience. We're going to dye our hair for the first time ever. Actually ever. Oh, we're almost done with the rad bolts. Oh, man. One more rad bolt, boys. 369. And then we'll be able to do the Great Monument. Uh, I don't have a good spot to build it. We're just going to build it here. So it'll create some space right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Is this 10? 9. Uh, I probably want to go in here then. Gonna mine this out just to have space for the Great Monument. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm just gonna look like an old man. 
It's just it's gonna look like I got great hair. <laughs> That's what I'm expecting, man. I'm just old man legit. Gonna get the old man legit, man. That actually should be a new emote. We're gonna get some new emotes again, guys, because we unlocked some slots. Maybe not immediately, but like, you know, in a few months. I'm gonna get an old man legit emote. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Mamba with a goatee that's all gray. With the old man glasses. Two legit Targaryen, first of his name. Yo, man. I got dragons, baby. Mamba's right behind me. Alright, so we got the research. Alright, how bad is this? I don't have steel. Ceramic. Ooh, I have the plastic. And then diamond. I probably have that. And then glass. Okay. So I bopped my glass forge. Looks like we have to bring that back. And we're going to need a lot of steel. So obsidian, I should have a lot of, yep, 58 tons. Plastic, yep, 71 tons. Ceramic, does not exist. Oh shit, okay, we're making some ceramic, boys. I don't have clay. Oh, dude, we're going to actually have to farm that from another planet. Ah, oh, that's going to be fun. We are going to probably want to go to either the frozen forest. No, there's no slime here, so there's no clay. We have to go, we have to go back to the uh, tree resin planet. Yeah, all the clay's right here. All right, we have to fly back, grab some of that clay. Everything here is malleable, though. That's nice. But we're going to have to grab that clay. Uh, otherwise, we can't make ceramic. I'll probably need to bring back one of these rockets to do that trip. I could also relocate the CO2 rocket to put another steam engine here. Maybe, I'm thinking about it. So we're going here just to get a drop off, which is fine. And then we could just do the gas refill. So we go here here refill go back out come back refill go back home we probably have that it's probably not bad we're already scanning this on the way back too it's not bad so it looks like we're gonna want to go here and go out to scan this and then we want to go here go out to scan both of these okay okay so we'll do that. This guy's going to come back, go back. He's going to go there, come back. He's going to come back, go back, scan. And I think... No, we'll still need that rocket, though. Uh, hmm. I kind of do want to build a new rocket. The only problem is, is that I don't have the refined metal for it. I might need to bring some iron back home as well. We could just wait as well. Because I do need to build a great monument. Man. Yeah, we're just going to have to build a new one. Uh, I think the easiest thing is relocating the CO2 rocket. So we will set this up. Alright, we're going to have to sacrifice the iron. Uh, we'll just do that here. Move this over. Use this ladder. Should be fine. We have to reroute some of that. The oxygen lines and whatnot are okay, though. Yeah, so we'll just lift up and land. And then we'll just redo the pipes. Redo the uh, other stuff. So it's here, 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 here. Probably don't even need it. We'll just have it like that, just in case we need to build out the pipes. 
and then we'll just wait for that. Lift up land. Okay, this guy, 0.3, one cycle, 1.7. And then we just need steel. Damn, this fills up fast, man. All right. Let it out, boys. Gotta let it out. So we're just moving out the water so we can make more steel, use up the water here. This is active now, which is actually pretty good for us. This is at a nice 12 degrees. I would want to keep this filled, but then we're just going to leave this for now. This fills up here, which adds water into the spawn. It's just not needed yet. We could just burn off the water, though, if we wanted to make room. And then we just keep making steel. Alright, so we gotta wait for everything... This guy is chilling. You guys are not allowed to eat here, dude. What are you guys doing? Deliver the suits. Oh, did they actually move out the uranium? Where's the uranium? Wait, yeah, where's the uranium? What the hell is that? Hey, what the hell is this? That's kind of jank. Okay, so this is plastic no longer needed. Uh, the minerals are no longer... No, no, no. We need obsidian. And then we needed coal. We're going to want 10 tons here. And then this is my uranium. Someone robbed my uranium. That's not a good sign. And then that should be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll have to fly back. All right. So we'll set that up. We got to charge the rockets. This is at 19. Uh, before we actually do it, that's more water. This is proper split. Nope. We gotta go half half. Water still flows. Can't be mad. Alright, research is doing good. Nothing I really have to research anymore. So it's chilling now, not bad. Waiting for this side. 0.2.8. No, the preserves. No, he's fine though. Dude. If he's super productive, is there a chance? I mean, they probably won't. They should make it, though. Driving immediately finishes. Doesn't that mean he gets home immediately? That'd be tight, dude. Imagine you're driving a rocket super productive, and you immediately just teleport the rocket back home. That'd be badass, dude. Had the super productive trigger finish the job, immediately teleports home. A little bit OP though, not gonna lie. That'd be actually kind of entertaining. 
All right, let's slow this back down. Mocha, Bombi, new suits. Come on, Bombi. Mocha with the new suit. Let's go. Mocha goes first. All right, so this is. Damn, what is this? Dude, what is this planet, dude? We have the random spike of polluted dirt that's ice cold. Very erect. We got the Wolframite on the top of the map. A fat Wolframite vein. Like, what is this, dude? <laughs> this is so weird looking. We have a free puff that's flying in space. What is this planet, dude? All right, we're going to land on the... Here. Because I want access to the Wolframite. So, Mocha... Left side. There we go. And we got Bombi on the... Side as well. The Dirt Towers for reals, man. Alright, get the rocket platform. This is the only reason why they're here. Building out a platform, boys. And then we're going to have them do some scanning, it looks like. Oh, we could also build out a mini pod, because we can. We're waiting for that anyways. Bombi and Mocha just hanging out. Activate. Let's go. And we have a new printable. All right, so I think we're going to start lagging now. The more planets you discover, the more the game lags. All right. Wait for this to land. Oh, we're two pays too. Yep. You guys both have the same skin. And we're going home. It's actually pretty impressive. Alright, alright. Had to crack my knuckles. There we go. All right, we're coming back. All right, so this guy, he is technically waiting for these. And there we go. And then we need to add in the steam. So this guy is going back. Doesn't need the cargo. Okay, so he's chilling. He's chilling. Oh, this is here as well. We don't need that. Gotta go up to 150. Broken ladder fills bad. Oh, we should probably uh, crew change here. Launch, and we're gonna land here immediately. And then we'll get another steam rocket. We need another telescoping rocket. Kind of do some more scouting. All right, it's not too bad. Land over here, please. Thank you, thank you. And he should be able to leave immediately. Not bad. Alright, so this bridge needs to go away. Probably want to remove the gas from that pipeline. Goes up by 0.5 every second.
And should be good. And the rest is gonna go down to here. All right. So they're going back. This is unfocused and G. Still cool. And they're able to launch. Everything in here is good, right? A little bit of coal, a little bit of obsidian. 400 each. We have 1.2. Yeah, that's perfect. Don't need that much coal. And then it's just making sure we have food. And are we ready? There we go. Nice. So this guy, ground. He's chilling, except that we need some suits. Yeah, 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 yeah. So two people, two people. Bombi Mocha, G Unfocus. That's four suits. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then this is not a rocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That means in here, all we got to do is set up some of the new suits. These should be charged. This is operational and then we got to move the second suit as well wait a sec what did i hit i hit sweep instead of move to and then we should be fine yeah so we'll move both of those in and then once this is ready which shouldn't take that long how much is in here? 60. Yeah, we'll do a split still. Probably be fine. Not bad. This is at 28. We're not going to split yet. Majority of it wants to go to the engine. Me and Bobby are two peas in a pod. Yo, man. That lag. Be like that sometimes. You guys have the same hairstyle, yo. That's all it takes sometimes. Just having the same hair. Oh, Lyra. You know what that reminds me of? Have you ever seen that video? Where a bunch of girls, they're all friends, right? They went out to have lunch. And they all had their boyfriends slash husbands wear the same shirt so everyone showed up different times and then the first person shows up and it's like okay cool we're there no one else is here that's fine second person shows up hey nice shirt nice shirt and then the third guy shows up hold up what's going on here man why is everyone wearing the same shirt and then the fourth guy shows up and they're just like, ah, damn. And all the girls are laughing. Because they planned this, right? Have you seen that, man? It's one of those wholesome pranks, as uh, they say in the business. I'm not going to lie, man. Outside of a pre-planned situation like that, I feel like if I see someone that's wearing the same shirt as I am, I'm just kind of like, hey, that's the homie right there. <laughs> like, automatically, man. Like, hey, man, I know that guy. Do you really know? <laughs> it's like, we're just wearing the same shirt, man. It'd be like that sometimes. But that's like an automatic, like, conversation starter. Hey, man, you got a nice shirt, dude. I like the way it looks. Finger getting like the dupes. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I like your taste in clothing, dude. Do you also shop at the Gap? 
Dude, that was one of the funniest things, too. When people call it, do you shop at The Gap? It's, it's another thing that's like, dude, who actually calls it The Gap? Isn't it just called Gap? It's so weird when they have to put the word the in front of it. I feel like. All right, all right. How are we over here? Oh, I've been splitting the steam. Oh, no. Oh, no. Their old commercials used to say fall into the gap. Oh, shit. I've actually never seen a commercial from Gap. Actually, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a commercial from them before. God damn, that must have been a long time ago, man. It feels bad. Like, just thinking about it, like, man, I don't think I've ever seen a commercial from them. Real talk. It's old. Okay, okay. All right, that's justified. That's justified. Now it doesn't feel as weird. I feel like a millennial now. Real talk, man. <laughs> I feel like a millennial boys. It feels bad. Alright, alright. So far, so good. Everything's looking alright. And guys, I think this is going to be a great spot for us to wrap things up for the night. We are doing our planet stuff. We are going to be opening up the tear next time we stream. We're going to be looking for the magma planet. We're going to be uh, grabbing resources in for the Great Monument. And then if we do get the Magma Planet, we just need a little bit of Neobium to start the chain. So Thermium is a weird setup. Because to make Thermium, you need Neobium and Tungsten. But then Thermium... Uh... Oh no, Thermium becomes Neobium. And then we would just need Tungsten consistently. And then once we have tungsten, we could use that to make the brackeen. Like actually, we need to do the uh, molecular forge first. And then I'm just going to do this. I don't actually know how much power this uses. 1.6? Oh, snap. We're going to have to like cut off the uh, jukebox. That's a lot of power, dude. Might have to cut off the jukebox. And that would be all we would need to cut off. And the suits, I guess. That's not that bad. The suits are alright. Alright, so we're going to need the Molecular Forge to make Plastium. It's not that bad. Just going to have to get some Neobium. But yeah, hoping to get the Magma Planet. Bombi, coming in! Hope you're doing well, Bombi. We're just wrapping up right now, actually. We uh, did some space stuff today. We found the tear. Did some exploration. We need to find the magma planet. We somewhat have a setup already for the uh, reactor design. We just got to build this, build out these pipes. Power wires are there already. Got to build the uh, generators. And then after we do that, we're going to be doing the uh, opening of the tear. So I think we're going to have like two to three more playthroughs of this. Oh, it was Kids Gap in 97. Damn. I was alive at that time. And I was a young child. But it makes sense that I haven't seen it back then. Because it was like... I didn't have command of the television at that age. You know, man? I was such a little kid. Be like that sometimes. I feel you with that bomb B. Hopefully it's better now. Hopefully it's all good. But yeah, man. I haven't been streaming as well. It's more effed up now. No! Not like this. I'm sorry, Bombi, man. I apologize. But guys, it's going to be uh, time for us to wrap things up for the night. Let's get that saving.